Hello, hello there, and we are live. See, so, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another show, yeah, today. And this time, yeah, it's the game between Arsenal, yeah, the Arsenal at home, yeah, and we're slogging it out with Luton Town. See, so, yeah, guys, this is a big, big, big match for the Arsenal. There's a reason why I'm saying that. But just before I start, yeah, let me hail some of the people, you know, who are already here and who always support me. These guys, they always, always support me. Danny! Danny, I know you're here as a spy, but, you know. <laughs> Arsenal will go, you know, top of the table today if we if we do win this matchup. And, um, you know, we'll wait for your match against Sheffield United, even if I do think you'll beat Sheffield United. But, you know, yeah, I can see the smileys already, Danny. I can see the smileys. Big up to you, my friend, man. It would be nice for you to, you know, uh, uh, stay on with me, um, you know, until I am, um, until this game ends. Uh, Drew Gunners, big up to you, Drew. Drew, my graphics guy, man. Big up to you, man. It's nice to catch you up down here, yeah? How you doing? Danny says, big up, Drew. Yeah, says big up Drew and Danny uh, throws the smileys down there for us. Big up to you, Danny, man, and um, big up to you, Drew Gunners. He says, I can only watch the first half. <laughs> yeah, I know why you would watch the first half, because if Arsenal pump like two, three, you know, into the net, you know, I, I suggest you don't watch it again, <laughs> because that's what might happen. Danny would just be, you would just be angered and peppered. And then you'd, you know, you just run back <laughs> onto the next one, Liverpool tomorrow. See ya, guys. This is a bit, see, guys, yeah. There is no, there is no, you know, no backyard talking. This one, Arsenal have to go, yeah, all the way and beat Luton Town. See, I'm not even asking for like, you know, by the way, the game I've already started. I'm not asking for five nil, six nil. I'm not looking for a whitewash, you know. See, yeah, uh, no, I'm just looking for a win. Just give me a win. That's all I want. Give me a win. You know, it's it's just the win that we're looking for. So, you know, if that win comes up, I will gladly take that win. Uh, of course, the game has already started. Definitely, and um, yeah, okay. Um, Luton Town kicking the ball in the middle of the park. Arsenal charging. Oh my god, how did Kai Havertz misplace the pass? Oh my days, Kai Havertz, it's too early. Danny says, I can only watch the first half. Yeah, Danny, I know, I know, I know. Hey, my guy, Bagov is in the house. Bagov, how you doing, man? I'm doing well, Tony. I uh, It was a stormy day out today, but like, uh, uh, yeah, just excited to be here and watch the game. Mm, mm, you're welcome, man. Nice to catch you up here, just like old times. Uh, uh, Wolfie, Wolfie's not feeling fine, so probably it's maybe just me and you. And another guy uh, called Lion Tech. So, you know, he yeah, might be fine, here maybe later on. But me and you can, you know, we've always done this together. So, you know, <laughs> it's nice to actually have you back doing the watch alongs, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anytime. How are you anytime. doing, brother? I'm, f I'm doing, feeling brother? good with, I'm feeling good with the, uh, um, oh, you know, this is a, this is such a, every time there's like a midweek game, Emirates Stadium, it's mm -hmm. always nice, actually. I, I love the, it's always game. nice. When you see the grass, yeah, the grass just, as in the carpets, just, it just, like, there's just something about the Emirates, man. The yeah, carpet, it is, it is, it is. The yeah. gloss, everything, it's, it's just perfect, man. It's just perfect. Big ups to AJ Bat. Mr. Bat, how you doing, man? He says, big up, Tony, forever. That's our guy. You know, AJ's our new moderator. You know, I have several moderators, but um, AJ AJ worked tirelessly for many other channels, man. I've seen this guy literally drew moderation for 
you know, bigger channels, you know, and it helps them grow, you know, and, um, you know, AJ, I, I can't wait to, you know, to grow with you, man, you know, and, um, you know, if things pops up on my side, you know, the benefit will be for all of us, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna share the checks. See, yeah, um, my brother, Bhagav, talk to us. I have the, I've shared the lineups for today, Luton versus Arsenal. Uh, first of all, let's check Arsenal, man. What do you think about this lineup? Yeah, we rotated, uh, but it's it, it has enough quality to get it done. Um, it should have enough quality to get it done. Um, uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what uh, Reese Nelson does. I'm excited to see uh, uh, Martin uh, Martin Odegaard definitely needs needs to have a rebound game. Um, mm. uh, the mm. biggest thing for me. Shout is out to the be... assemble. The assemble is down here. So the biggest thing for me is like yeah. we got to shut down. We got to because I watched uh, I watched Luton at the weekend versus uh, Spurs. Actually, it was nice when they went one nil up. Um, they yeah. do defend really well. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest threat is going to be Townsend. Yeah. They love getting into Townsend, and his, his crosses were fantastic last week. So, um, mm -hmm. uh, our left back needs to be on it. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like the lineup wise, that's all I'm looking for. Um, are you see? Are you a little bit wary about um, Zichenko coming out at that? Um, as in coming back to take his his place. Uh, in that left back position, are, are you comfortable with that? With that pick for today, I know when the spirit of kind of like you know reshuffling, uh, you know, giving a rest to those who have already battled without the eight he had, uh, you know. Uh, but is is Zichenko something you know you desire? Like there? my word. Shout out to the assembled. Yeah, and shout out to Mama Flossy, our head moderator. Big up to you, Mama Flossy. How are you doing? Hope you're okay. It's Arsenal versus Luton. Arsenal needs this three points, Mama Flossy. We do need it. Yeah, back of you were saying something, man. Talk to these people. No, 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 no. Because like, uh, we're gonna need a full squad. Like, it's just the way it's gonna go every three days. So, uh, he's he has a part to play. That's what a squad's for. So, am I wary of it? No, it's, it's Luton. Like, we should be. Uh, he, he should be able to manage Luton with how good he used to be. Uh. So yeah, I mean, it, it, we just got to rotate the squad. There's no excuses. I mean, I, I mean, when you just say, when you say it's just Luton, I, I don't look at it like that, man. I, I actually think Luton is a big. No, I actually look at Luton as a big threat. Like if you yeah. check their games, yeah, it's not like they're losing five one, uh, you know, six one or something like that. It's always a very very conservative score. No, oh, it is. It is like, uh, two like ones, I said. Uh, you know, three twos, like they're a team that will battle you. They would, you know, they will run at you. They will, they will have a go. You know, they don't really look that easy as people think they are. No, no, they're they're a pretty good defensive side. Like I said, like they love and they <coughs> counter well, and they counter well. There's always goals in them. They can't. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The only thing is, Man, uh, Zinchenko, Zinchenko yeah. is uh, not exactly a really. He's not a bad left back. He's just. He just uh, he's just better going forward, so you adapt the style. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, exactly. I, I I totally agree, man. I totally agree. I totally agree. I mean, we're making some good oh passes. The, the passing is a lot better. We're, we're definitely doing. Passes yeah, but at, it, but at the final third, uh, you know, yeah, we're just giving the ball away. Like Martin Odegaard just gave the ball away. Trasad found him at the eight in the you know. Just towards near the eighteen year box, and and he just fluffed his lines. See how important is uh, Emmy Smith Row uh, uh, to you? Seeing him down here, yeah. Like, do you think this is the kind of game that we should be bringing in Emmy Smith Row? Like, are you happy to just see him playing, or would you have better still? Would it have been better to just see him in the first half, in the second half? No, no, no. I, I think he's good enough. Um... Technically, he was getting the rest, actually, uh, when you think about it. Like, uh, oh, Declan okay. Rice is getting the rest. Declan Rice, is, De well, no, Declan Rice isn't it. it we have Partey in this yeah. place. Luton are, already arguing, Luton are already arguing with themselves defensively. Yep. This is... <laughs> um, I don't know. For some reason, our, our set pieces, our goals from set pieces have already slowed down just a bit. Just a little bit. 
You know, I want to see goals from set piece uh, uh, today. It's interesting. So they have, so they have five defenders almost back, but like they they continuously interchange though. Everybody's a yeah. So one person like they constantly interchange like two, uh, like a, a midfielder and defender back and forth. But they they always keep five at the back. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, they keep it compact at the back. Yeah. yeah. They keep compact at the back. Like yeah. extra. Extremely compact, man. Extremely compact. Uh, shout out to everyone who is down here. Thanks for joining us down here, guys. Big ups to you. You are the real heroes. Thanks. I really appreciate it that you could come here and, you know, just chill down here with us. What are your predictions? I want to see your predictions. Those of you who are here uh, uh, watching this with us down here, man. What are your predictions for this game? Let's see. The Assembled says, evening, chaps. The Assembled, nice to see you, man, because you always hold it down for me here, man. Big ups to you. I have Barga, who is down here with me. Uh, Danny is down here. He says, good evening, The Assembled, of course. Mama Flosse. She says, evening all. See ya, guys. <laughs> My guy is down here, Lion Tech. Talk to these people, man. How are you doing? What's going on, people? Good to be back. Good to be back. Mm. What's, what's everyone saying, man? Good to be back. Man, I'm fine, man. Of course, I brought my uh, uh, my personal friend, Bargav, uh, uh, down here, man, to do this watch along with us, man. Uh, so, Lion Tech, you know, no we're three. Uh, Wolfang, Wolfang couldn't make it because um, he's having a headache. Get well soon, Wolfang, man. Get well soon. Yeah. Speedy recovery, Wolf. Speedy recovery. Speedy recovery, Wolfie, man. We love you down here, bro. Andrew. Hey, um, Lion Tech, um, mm -hmm. I've already sampled uh, uh, what Bargov uh, uh, thought about the lineup. What do you think about this lineup, man? Because, see, you know, we talked about this, yeah, that sooner or later there will be rotation in this team. You can't expect the same 11 to, you know, keep playing. The thing there is, mm -hmm. as he drilled this this uh, 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 B-side to actually be at par with the, with the, with the first team, uh, that's what we're we're gonna see right now. Oh my God! Misplaced passes in the eighteen-year box. Arsenal. Yeah, Lion Tech. Talk to us, man. Um. Yeah, I was kind of shocked because it's not not that long ago I actually saw the lineup. To be honest, I was quite late seeing the lineup. So I was like, whoa, it's quite a few changes still. But um, I don't know. I think he might have made maybe too many changes. I don't think he needs to make too many changes. I mean, like, mm. I get it. I, we should still win the game anyway, regardless. But I didn't think you'd make that many changes. I thought, like, you'd make, like, um, uh, who, who was I going to say, like, I thought you would put Thomas Partey with Rice in this game. But um, obviously, you put Partey yeah. and you put Rice on the bench, which is fair enough. But we just got just, just got to see what happens, bro. But, if anything happens, it's on the manager's head, fam. That's all I'm saying. It's on, <laughs> you know I mean? it's on the manager's head. <laughs> it's on his head. But do you, do you think it goes wrong? Do you, do, you think, do you think there are any players... Uh, Bag of this is for you, yeah? Do you think there's any players in this Luton team, yeah, that 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 can actually hurt us today? Yeah, I mean, their attack's been, like, getting to Townsend, and um, uh, his co his crosses have been really good, like... Uh, he was they were really good against um yeah this season uh, yeah. Uh, at Tottenham so they were really against uh, at the weekend too so he's kind of in form um mm -hmm. so yeah they uh mm -hmm. if if you let them counter you gotta you gotta shut down uh, you gotta make sure the passes don't go to him yeah yeah definitely up the, but again Lion Tech yeah see um definitely Luton they still have um you know Morris who's down there uh, as their number nine. Kind of dangerous, yeah. you know. He's been scoring some certain kind of goals this season, mm. and one of the most improved midfielders in the league this season for me, Ross Batley, is down there tucked into the middle, uh, uh, uh you know, uh, uh, uh yeah. by Luton, yeah. And they also have mm. um, Mengi, Kabore, Panzu, Doherty, uh, you know, they have quality down there that can still hurt, uh, uh yeah, you know, Arsenal. Awesome. Day. Yeah, have, man. They do have the they do have um decent amount of quality. Like Ross Park is, is riding up the crowd, is pushing the crowd. No oh, god, this passion merchant man. This guy, man. 
Uh, I never actually thought I'd see him in the starting <laughs> lineup Martin, again. Man. <laughs> I can't lie. I never thought I'd see him in the, again, in the lineup again, you know. I can't ever lie. <laughs> I have not oh, missed that guy on, one it, bit. It, it, it's, not, it's not like it. And I know, even me too, I, would, I wouldn't say I've missed him, but I'm not saying he's a total garbage. Yeah, come on, man. Let's don't do that, man. He's not total garbage. I understand that, you know, probably maybe he's, um, you no, know, maybe he's not actually, so good enough the way we want to play. I get that. Yeah, but come on, man. He's not. He's not total dog shit. Isn't that a card? Referee. Kai Havertz. Oh, ref. Kai Havertz That's a foul. The ball. What are these guys doing? What are these guys doing? Why is he taking oh, so many touches? Days. Can I someone that shoot? Was an advantage. Oh, yes. Mm. Already, we can already see the impact of Emmy Smith Row. There's this thing about Emmy Smith Row and the way he moves. He opens up his body. He likes to, you know, get uh, 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 around players. He drives, he drives at the ball. Very, very key if you want to uh, uh, look onto a player who could be able to open spaces, uh, you know, and, um, and create mm. some certain kind of chances. So, our eyes will be on Emmy Smith Road this evening and see how he creates spaces and create chances too. Yeah. Well, he's got his opportunity. He needs to take it, bro. And that's it. He needs to take it, man. He needs to take it. Yeah. He needs to take it. Shout out to Eli Doors. Eli Doors TV is down here with us. Shout out to Drew Gunners. Yeah, man. <laughs> How's Thomas see, Partey let's looking? See, let's really? see. Yeah, Partey's like doing uh doing passes. Uh, do you, you want to go first? Back of his accent mm -hmm. about Partey. Would you go first? Um well, he's been steady. We ain't done anything wrong, so yeah. The standard performance so far. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's done okay. I completely agree. I completely he's agree. Done all right. he's, he's okay. Oh, oh, did you guys see that pass? Yeah, Kai Havertz, he holds onto the ball. Shoot, shoot. He's trying to lay it off. Why? Oh, my God. Oh, why did he do that? Shoot. Come on, Havertz, man. Shoot, bro. All the time. Why does no. Arsenal never want to shoot, bro? Why oh, do we never want to shoot? Bro. Kai Havertz, do you have to lay off the ball all the time? I know. You'd have been better off going on the zone. Just shoot, shoot. You'd have been better off going on the zone. That's why we do need a striker with lots of confidence, man. We need a striker with lots of confidence, man. This doesn't inspire confidence. But again, nah. let's see. Arsenal still making those runs. Thomas Partey. <laughs> Oh, what's the okay. part? Is a counter attack. Have to find them One, two, three. Morris, it's down to Morris. Oh, look, Ross Barkley's on the. Oh, my lord, Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. oh, my lord, Arsenal needs to be very careful about their counter attacks, man. These guys that they, they look yeah, fast on a counter attack, mm. especially if you give Barkley space. Oh, my days. Oh my uh, our defense man. Oh my dog. Our defense has really bailed us this season, man. Oh my yeah. days. Uh not a bad ball, Bart Simpson. Unlucky. Yeah. The assembled says Danny, you'll be looking to close down the goal difference tomorrow. That's if Arsenal wins. That's if Arsenal wins. Yeah, guys, I'm not overlooking this matchup. Yeah, I'm not overlooking. No, I ain't either. Oh, I ain't either, man. I forget we I, had like. I, I, don't, I don't care what type of win we get, but we better win. That's all I know. I, I forgot that uh, we had a couple of stat pad games that uh, gave us our goal difference advantage. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but again, Liverpool is already closing down on that goal difference, man. Yeah. Last time I checked, it was 40 46. So uh, we just have six uh, uh, yeah, over six. Liverpool, yeah. which means we need to score at least more four, more three, 
because it's always good to keep it like up to 10. It, it's good to have spaces yeah. of 10, 10, 10, so that it's more easier, man. Because right mm-hmm. now, yeah, if Liverpool goes to Sheffield United, uh, no, at Anfield, they have Sheffield United at Anfield, or is it away? It's probably away. No, it's at Anfield. And if, and if they, it's at Anfield, right? Okay, good. And yeah, if, if they if they smash them like five goals to nil, that that Arsenal lead in terms of goal difference will be cut to one, and you can yeah. never ever compare Arsenal, uh, uh, Arsenal's um, uh, attack in terms of uh, scoring more goals mm-hmm. in a game uh, than 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 Liverpool. Liverpool completely yeah. bleeds teams when they were on their day. Well, what, what's yeah. the last time? When's the last time? Uh, um... Uh, it was one on goal difference. Uh, I think it was all this city. I think it was that city. was the city United one. I think no, that no, was C- C- United. I thought city, city one by one. City United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must city have been City United. United. Yeah, that was goal difference. City United. That was goal different. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. I think that was the last time. I don't Is anyone looking? Happened. Is anyone looking forward to that Chelsea Man United game? When's that? Tomorrow <laughs> or that today? <laughs> no, tomorrow. Wait, when is that? Oh, that tomorrow. Yeah. Man. Tomorrow. tomorrow, man. I wouldn't Stop. say I'm looking forward to it, but I'll watch it. <laughs> That's about it, baby. Uh, I'll pass. I, I, the, I feel like the Man City, the Man City, like uh, oh, Aston Villa game is better. It's gonna, be it's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be a disaster class man because when those two play it's always a very very boring game danny says good evening tony ellie doors mama flossy says evening ellie doors football tv yeah exactly ellie doors is our guy big ups to him money tangadurai is down here big ups to you money tangadurai that's our brother is down here here today is also down here here today big up to you man nice to see you and then um, of course, i know you've been busy for some time here today but nice to catch you back on the show aj is still down here with us our moderator mama flossy still down here with us uh, see yeah guys what are your what are your predictions for this game see arsenal is leading the ball possession 80 percent to 20 to luton can you guys dig it? Arsenal is trying to loop balls down to Kai Havert. <laughs> oh, yeah. Days. But can he actually just... Ugh, that was horrible, man. Is, is that uh, strength? Is that strength? Is that strength? Is he that kind of guy that can power up with the ball and move 10, 10, 10 11 yards? I mean, that's not within, with intense running, I don't think so. He's not that guy. He's that guy that drives on layoffs and and intricate passes in and about the eighteen yard box. I, you know, I don't see him mm. as that kind of guy. You just generally want to loop the ball to. Yeah, you could loop the ball to him, and he would get a layoff. You know, but apart from that, man, he's not that kind of guy that is gonna run ten. <laughs> 10, 11 yards, 12 yards, and go score a goal. I, I don't know. Bhagav, what do you think? I mean, it's uh, Mengi, Mengi and Kabore against Mengi and Kabore. He, mm. probably, he probably could do it, but we got to shoot more, though. Currently, we have we do have the we only shot shoot in target. More, we currently only have the, I think I was looking at it, like we only have, we're the team. Yeah, with, definitely uh, need to start shooting more. There's no like clear cut chances, so I don't really count like all this possession. Yeah, yeah, don't really mean that in the score. Let's see. The way Spurs beat them was uh, they had a bunch of cutbacks. They had a bunch of cutbacks. On Trossard, oh, lucky block. They really attacked that. uh, The way Spurs beat them is they attacked them on the right hand side. Um, and yeah. then uh, they crossed it. Uh, they had cutbacks, but Ben White's not getting forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Gabriel Magalhaes has been penalized. Uh, the referee says that he he fouled on um, Morris. Okay, interesting. 
So Saka's Saka's not even Saka's not even in the bench. I don't know. Although the manager yeah, came out and said that he's fit to play. That's what so the, the manager said today. So he just dropped him out of the play. squad then basically. It's gonna look it's but, looking like but the, again. But if he's injured, that means Arsenal! he's lying. <laughs> you guys watch this. Watch this. Watch um, this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it watch now. This. Assist my Kai Havertz. It's Odegaard. What a goal. Yeah. Kai Havertz. Oh, hey, hey, what a finish from Odegaard. Odegaard. What a finish. What a goal. What a goal, what a goal man. Days. Come on now. Let's wrap this goal difference up, man. Let's wrap this up now, man. Yes. Yeah, we, we need four. Yes. Uh, at, at least three. We need at least three. Yes. There you go. Yes. yes. Guys, see, uh, Kai Havertz causing nuisance all about the 18 year box of Luton. Mm. Causing nuisance. Bag of us, start with you, man. Lovely assist by Kai Havertz. You could just see, yeah. he just lays the ball off. Easy peasy to other guard. It's just an 18 year box. Yeah, Ready yeah. to shoot. Tap, tap, boom. It, it's simple. With Kai Havertz, it's simple. Just lay the ball off. Lay it off. Wait, but who laid it off to... Who laid it off to Kai Havertz? Odegaard. Was it Odegaard? Yeah, because no, Smith no, no, was no. the one that won. No. Wait, was it Smith yeah. Rowe that passed it to Kai Havertz? I think so. No, um, Smith Rowe won the ball back, passed it to Odegaard. Odegaard passed it to Havertz, then Havertz laid it back to, Havertz to Odegaard. To space, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's basically yeah. how it happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you guys, oh. smash the likes button. Arsenal won. Kai Havertz assist. See, uh, uh, see, Bagger, let me start from you, man. You know we've cursed. Mm -hmm. yeah, see, I cursed Kai Havertz. Lion Tech here cursed Kai Havertz. Bruv, this guy is out here, yeah? Giving assist, scoring goals, scoring in the international, scoring for Arsenal, helping out, causing a nuisance in the 18-year box of opposition teams. Bro, what do you have to say, man? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, no, so I think uh, I, there was a stat recently. It's like he was actually the highest-rated player, like, across the Prem this year. Um but the issue, uh, I guess the issue is like when we, uh, uh, is sometimes who else he has to work around. Like sometimes Odegaard's not in the game. Sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes, uh, Jesus, uh, with, uh, playing with like Jesus and whatnot sometimes doesn't work. But he's been very consistent, Kai Havertz, for us. I think people finally starting to acknowledge it, but, uh, obviously he still has to hit his, uh, if he could, he's surpassed Jacka already. Um, I think he's gonna. Uh, if he gets his like twelve goals, I think everyone would be like, everyone would be very happy with the with the whole signing. And he's only gonna get better. He's still twenty three, by the way. Yeah. Think about that, uh, bro. He's still twenty three. Yeah, exactly, man. People forget how young okay. this guy is. Uh, Lion Tech, mm -hmm. Lion Tech, Kai Havertz laying off that assist. See, I'm not trying to say, you know, I'm not trying to push Kai Havertz narrative down here, yeah. But come on, man. This guy's... It's, bro, what an assist. And he's been a constant torn on the flesh of Luton in that uh, final third. What do you think, man? Uh, Martin Odegaard, go. What do you think? Yeah, um, he's done well. I give him that. Like, over the last eight or nine games, he started to get some sort of confidence where before he had literally zero confidence. So it was every right that we were... Um, slagging him off at the start but now you know he's doing what he needs to do so i'm not cussing him like that get me even in the last game i praised him against man city i thought he'd done yeah. well in that game you know what i mean so mm. as long as he keeps performing mate then just do your thing man get me all i want is the title yeah. fans i don't even care who the hell performed as long as he bring me that trophy let him, as long as it brings in that tight, just bring that trophy and all is good. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? All is good then. Straight up. Yeah, yeah. No, man, but... Um, see, yeah, yeah man, see. good start so far, but we need another goal. Definitely need uh, another one. I'll say it was Definitely. a good. Uh, it, it was a good finish by Odegaard, but yeah, it was. It's. Uh, I just. He, he needs to do more though. Still, that's just my opinion. Like, that's one thing about yeah. Odegaard. He doesn't shoot enough. The the guy can shoot. He just doesn't do it enough. Yeah, but the, the other the thing is, the other thing is, he does. He, I mean, he drifts into games and he drifts out of games, which is yeah. Which, which I get. Which I can get sometimes because if you uh, based on how uh, how tired your legs are. But then it's like uh, the bit in the biggest of games. It's like you go completely missing. Completely, like, that's the problem. Hmm. And Townsend yeah. with the Townsend with those crosses. Though. Yeah, sure, man. Mm -hmm. See, man, one nil. I'm happy. One of the things I really like is when players try to get in behind the defenders. Number one. And again, you're also trying to at least, at least get into space. Martin Odegaard, yeah. tap, tap, boom, get into space. Understands oh, that he's the, sees where Kai Havertz is, is trying to go. Oh, good so, vibration, yeah. Nelson. Good, oh, good what's you doing? So what's with the, uh, I guess, what's with the Man City, uh, Man City start time being like uh, 30 minutes later? Mm, is that kickoff no, started? No, no that kickoff is like 15 minutes. Oh, no, the TV in it. <laughs> but you know what? No, yeah, to be it. very sincere, yeah, I don't really care. Personally, I don't really care about Man City back of, yeah? I don't really care about Man City. They are behind us. So, personally, their games, I don't really care right now because I, I still think they're behind us. The only yeah. game I'm looking forward right now is Liverpool. Liverpool. That's the only team Liverpool. in front of us. Oh, I need yeah. those I don't, guys I don't to drop points. Mean, no, no. As far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. there's no need to even look back at Man City. Yeah, exactly. but uh, you're because right. Because if you're we're right. winning every game in front of us, we don't need to care about Man City. No, you're yeah. right. We don't even yeah, need yeah. to even care when, when they start their games. But as long as we're Provided still winning we every single games. game, then yeah, that's the case. <laughs> Yeah, if we win every single game, then 100% that is the case. Don't need to worry about City. But we need to just hope that Liverpool yeah, drops some yeah, points. Exactly. That's the main thing. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I hope they both drop points make and we just go on a winning yeah, run. Yeah, yeah. But who knows, man? Who knows? The, the problem is where will this point, where will this point be dropped? That's the problem. I, I really see Liverpool going to Old Trafford and beating uh, uh, Man United. Man United, I don't know. Their head isn't isn't at it this season. I don't know. There's just something about that team that I, I don't think, know. I don't know. I mean, no, it is Tony. I think it's one of them games where they yeah. they always get up for them kind of games, isn't it? Man United. Now the way they play against Liverpool ain't the way they play against Brentford. You know what I mean? Like, mm. like you know, it's a, with Man United, yeah, they tend to like try that extra bit harder against the bigger teams because they know if they play anywhere near how they're playing, they're getting slapped. <laughs> so they know they have to turn up. You know yeah, what I mean? I, mean so, I feel like all the games that are on Sky, like the big six, like they always they know they have to turn up. They know they have to turn up. Exactly, they have to turn up. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I know I can see them. I can see Man United pulling. Something yeah, like yeah. I figured they could get at least a draw against Liverpool. It's not out of the realms of possibility. Who else do they have? Uh, they have. Oh my god! No, yeah. I think they got Tottenham as well at some point. Yeah. So are we. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's the, exactly that's the only game that I'm I'm really looking at and I'm saying okay. Okay, that could that could be a battle. That could be a battle. But the problem there with that battle is that we also have that battle too. We have to go down to Wahart yeah. Lane 
Oh, it's gonna be a hard one, man. It's gonna be a hard. No, we also one. have yeah. Chelsea that way. We also have Chelsea that way. Oh my god! What the hell was Zinchenko doing there? Am I the only one that just saw that? Yeah. But look what Zinchenko just did. So what? He just left it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Bruh, there's no need to about Zinchenko. Just, just, yeah. just leave him alone. Yeah. Just leave him alone. I've left him again. alone. Just he just done alone. something really stupid that, that could have went wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't even said nothing. I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> Do you think Aston Villa won't do anything at the end of the the Liverpool Aston Villa game? Is that at, is that at Villa Park? Yeah, I think that's at Villa. Yeah, that, that's gonna, only that's Wat- gonna be a difficult one. Only, only Watkins see, but only Watkins is out. That's another problem. Only yeah, Watkins but at the end of the, it's at the oh, it's look at the, the chance! Of- what happened? Shoot! Oh my days! Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Jesus. My god, what a save that is. Oh my days. Oh, Jesus I thought Smith was scored there. What happened? Uh he probably should have scored. Smith Rowe has got it. Oh my days. Uh, he oh, should have scored. Days. No, that was a bro. That was a top. That was a top notch save, man. <laughs> oh no, it was that a good was save. A, oh, I'm not a top notch defending. Yeah. Uh, oh my days, losing that defending, man. That's a hell wow. of a save, man. But again, I've seen Emmy Smith Rowe miss chances like that this season, during the periods that they've given him a chance to come in. Mind you, he missed. A, a chance just like this against Sheffield United when he came on late on in the second half. And then he was one-on-one with the keeper and then he couldn't score. After then, I don't think Mikel Ateta used it. Oh, my days. He needs, ah. to, he, needs to, he needs to feed off this chance, man. Because Mikel, uh, Mikel, Mikel is going to be strict. I, I mean, sometimes, yeah. I wonder, sometimes I wonder, you're training against, like, what? Like, uh, Saliba and... Uh... Um, Gabriel every day, so I don't get like why you're not like I, I get the match rhythm thing at times because if you're playing around in front of a crowd, but mm. you should be putting stuff away like that. He should be putting it away, he should be putting it. Away. I mean, I think oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure because because we sell like one academy player every year, that's just the way the prem is gonna go. Um, it's probably gonna be in Kedia actually, mm. yeah, but. Even then, would you keep? I would you rather keep Inkedia as a third string, <laughs> just in case? Inkedia needs to, because that's the issue. Yeah, but that's the issue. If like one of our strikers gets injured, like you need one. I more. think I was talking to someone the other day, and okay, the analyzed it was Dio. He was talking about Eddie Inkedia, and I don't want to hear about this guy again. Like <laughs> I don't even want to see him again. Man. I don't even want to hear again, about. Man. I don't want to see him again, Muff. I'm, I'm tired. I don't want to see him again. I don't want to see him again. I don't think yeah. he's going to get another game. Whenever I, I see him, I want to be singing, it's been a long day without <laughs> you, my friend. Like in another club, not yeah. death or whatever, but in another yeah. club, you know. Yeah, Tell he's probably you all be... about it when I see you again. I want to sing that song when I see him. I don't want him anywhere, <laughs> anywhere at our first 11, <laughs> you know. That, bro, I, nah, I, don't want, I don't want that, man. No, I don't even want to see him on the bench. That's yeah, he's gonna get sold. He, I don't he's even gonna want get, to see him. He's going to get sold for like $40 million or something. But I'll, I'll set him for free. Okay. <laughs> get him gone, bro. Money. Money. Money said 20 minutes and still no goals. And then, boom, after 40. After, after four more minutes, Arsenal scored the goal. And, you know... <laughs> Yeah. Money. <laughs> you have to be very careful when you're talking about Arsenal this season, man. These guys can generally make people look like dummies. <laughs> I mean, we still... Just like the way I have it. There's still more of the game, though, Tony. You know. I guess we yeah. had nine attempts. 
Well, we had nine attempts on target. Wait, we had nine attempts. I don't even it, remember. It's crazy, no, right? Like no, it's no, well, no, no. But again, do you think Arsenal can lose this game? Lion Tech, you said something now. Uh, that, huh? What did you say? You said something. Like, um, there's no, I said, um, I, I said, say? um, we had nine. Do you think no, we're said, gonna um, lose we... this game? <laughs> no, 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 no. I said, um, they, we've got nine attempts. I don't even remember those nine attempts because I just saw the stats now. We had nine shots, apparently. I don't even remember the nine shots. Yeah, well, fair enough. No, no I don't it, think we'll lose this it, game. Yeah, it I don't is. think we'll lose. It does feel real, but I think we had like two shots on target, though. Oh, come on, have I'm not strong enough, habits, man. Man, 39 minutes. Man, this game is going so quickly, man. <laughs> we just yeah. started when, man? It's down 39 minutes, almost 40 minutes. It, but one thing, I, time, one thing I'll say is, though, like, I don't like a 1 0 scoreline. I just don't. Yeah. yeah we, we need another goal. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yo, That's it. it. Uh, uh, do we is it but like again, a rainy day is it rain, is, is it like a rainy day like in london um i don't know it, it, sure. was, raining a bit any rain here. it was raining here like it, it, rain feel, now. it feels like an overcast day it felt like an overcast day or something mm. yeah i had little spots of rain in england but no nah, not, nothing nothing major no it feels like a good day. it feels like one of those uh, uh, uh Feels like one of those days I like. Yeah. Uh, hey, wow, no. Dryer, stop playing with the ball like that, man. <laughs> stop playing with the ball like that, man. One yeah. thing I'll say is I'm definitely more copy. Um, com well, Ray knows what he's doing. If that was Ramsdale, boy, <laughs> that's another See, story. When, when you know I was I mean? saying bring back Thomas Partey. When I was saying bring back Thomas Partey, people were saying uh, uh, he's not fit. Bro, I'm seeing Thomas Partey's displays here, yeah, and mm. and, and he's looking good. He's looking he's good. A, he's putting a he's putting in no, no, challenges. A fit Thomas Partey is a useful good. Thomas Partey. Yeah, but he's the only not problem weak. is he's not been fit. That's the problem. When he's fit, all yeah. day long he starts in the midfield all day long. Oh yeah, oh, yeah there's no debate about that. The only thing. Oh my! Oh my days! Oh my days! Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Oh man, oh. like Benjamin, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Benjamin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I saw that. Hey, <laughs> Benjamin with the techers, you know. Yeah, I saw that. Yo. <laughs> uh, for a second, I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, like, uh, oh, yeah. My the day. Oh God. I like that. Uh, this is, good this is cutting the inside now. He's cutting inside This now. Luton like, goalkeeper. I don't know, man. The guy looks good. Oh, yeah. I mean, Made a couple of good saves. Who is it? In it? What's his name? Uh... Now, this is the kind of game I do expect Odegaard to like, stamp his authority on. It might happen. Kaminsky. Ah. Thomas, Thomas Partey just missed a chance. Oh my Thomas God! Partey just missed. Ah, jeez. Nah. Oh God, man. Yeah, oh, but no, it's a corner. Is that a corner? It, it, eh, no, it it's ought a, to be a corner, man. No, it's a it's a goal kick. Oh no, no, no! It came it's a goal party. kick. He touched uh, uh, no, no, no. He came off Partey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. On the flip side, though, on the flip uh, side, Thomas Partey. No, 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 no. I, I haven't seen any like a uh, uh, slide tackles from him just yet. Though. That's the only thing. Mm. Mm. Big up to Paul Forwell. Paul Forwell, blue nose. Big up to you, man. How are you doing? The assembled says here. He says, "Money three points is the target performance will count next season." But I've noted you've mentioned he doesn't turn up in the big games. Mm. He doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> man is talking he, he about doesn't. Martin Odegaard. Yeah, yeah, but of course. See, man, I I hear money, man. You know, Martin Odegaard didn't turn up in that Man City game. Nah, you know, I, I won't lie, man. He didn't turn up. 
he hasn't turned up in any up. big games. He, he hasn't turned. He didn't turn. Like all right, so well, the he had an assist. The, the I agree. He had, like, an I assist. agree. But they ain't turned up for none of them. Uh, he didn't turn up. He didn't turn yeah. up. Let's be real. That's he celebrated true. that he like uh, he celebrated that one goal. Um. Oh snap. I'm gonna score another goal. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> guys, hey. do you guys do you Reece know Nelson, who is yeah? orchestrating? Do you know who is orchestrating these things? Oh my days! Just Reece. watch that replay again. Watch As that replay again. As my boy Ali would say, <laughs> <laughs> Two oh, nil. I, I was just about to say, like, can we get the second goal before half time? And they did it. Yeah, they, they did it. And they did Literally it. Literally, just about they to say. They did it. it. Done, done, done. Yeah, it's, it, the game's done now, man. Hey, now we got to wrap up we that goal difference. Yeah, exactly. Let's wrap up the goal difference. I expect Guys, three. do you see it? Emmy Smith Rowe once again. Emmy Smith Rowe was the one that recovered yeah. the, uh, the ball for the first goal. For the, the first goal. goal. Look, this is and the second goal, he does. made that run. This is what he does in the team. Yeah. That's why we're critical of the manager. Why do you keep this guy away from games? Because this guy can he can cut into defenses. I've said it lots of times, many times. Okay. Where yeah. is Emmy Smith Rowe? See, mm. that's what, see, that's what I see expect out of Odegaard too. That's what I expect out of Odegaard, like drifting into the right spaces. Yeah. Never does it. He never does it. Like he he loves to stay. Oh, the own goal. Oh, yeah, it counts as own goal. There's me saying Reese. It's not even Reese. <clears throat> what a shame. Is he it's given as an own goal? It's given as an own goal. Yeah, Hashoika. Right. Uh, well, Man, Man City are about to kick off in a minute. Yeah, by the looks of it, they're seeing it on the screen. So, hopefully Villa do something, though. Hopefully. Make my life a lot easier. <laughs> no, I mean, we win this game and City slip up, that'd be even better. That would be even better, man. That would be better. You know what, I mean? what is their lineup? But, I doubt it, but who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, Arsenal too. I've got Paul Forwell says here, I went with 3 0 for the Arsenal this match. Mm. That sounds good. I said 2 or 3 1. I think I said in the last stream about 3 1. It's interesting. Bro, are you sure this is, are you sure this is not going to turn into a 6 0? <laughs> Bro. Nah. Bro way... I'd love that. I'd love Luton, that. Luton. Oh, bro, Luton have conceded that. like 67 goals this season. <laughs> this guy's here. You know, you know why that is, goal. Tony? Because they come out and attack. That's what yeah, they, they do. They, they come out and attack. have a goal. That, that's I, I why like they concede. I love it. Yeah, mm. they come out to attack. Yeah, yeah that's why we get out. spaces in behind them. We'll get those spaces. But wait, yeah, imagine we win this game, yeah, like, oh, my God, <laughs> Luton can't defend again. They can't defend again. They're giving um, the ball away. Oh, my, oh, my days. Oh, Trossard. Come Trussard on, son. Trossard running, running circles down the left. Oh, my God. He not make that shoika. Oh, hey, <laughs> man, that Trussard, you know. That not make was dirty, man. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not. He not make him. He not make him. Oh, my days. Yeah, that make was dirty, man. Good, Whoa. Man. This is so, looking good, man. Oh, my days. Is that it? Who is that guy? Uh, yeah. Ashoika. Ashoika. Nah. Yeah. At the same time, oh, it's like oh, oh my days, one touch passes, man. I'm I'm liking this display, guys. This is our second team, our second team. Oh my days, oh my days. I'm loving this. Yeah, Thomas Partey. Thomas Partey's. Uh, Thomas Partey's, uh, Thomas Partey's been everywhere with these. Uh, it's been, it's been Partey, Smithy. Oh, I'm lucky. 
He's been, oh, he's so been lucky. amazing, man. He's been amazing. Yeah, if if Pate can build up his fitness, then he's going to be an asset with him and Rice in the midfield. No, he's that'll make, he, that'll make he us even more stronger. He, he definitely has. Yeah, man, that's what iron. I want. He definitely. That's has the midfield iron. I want. To be honest, I think that midfield has to play against Bayern Munich. Yeah. Personally, if Jorginho ain't up to it, then put Thomas Partey in. Sounds good. Two nil. No, early doors is right. Any of us can drop points. It's true. The title running is so different. Wow, Tony. Wow, Tony. That's quite bold presumptions. City's pedigree commands respect, but we shall see. No, but again, do we need to care what City does right now? They're behind us. I don't really care. What I really the only way we about care about City is if we actually drop points. That's exactly. the only time. See, if, if, we, if we don't games, drop points, don't then fair enough. Mm. Exactly. If you're winning your games, you don't have to care about them. Oh, no, no. Because you could, no say, that about, to, you could say that with Liverpool and us. Liverpool could say the same thing about us. Because all they have to do is win all of their games. And they win the Prem. Yeah, yeah, they could uh, say yeah, the exact yeah, same yeah. thing. That's what but I'm again, saying. That's what makes it. But again, it's advantage Liverpool. But in yeah. this case, it's not advantage City. You know, it's advantage mm. Arsenal over City. So you know, we don't have yeah. to care about City right now. Go on. But that's what makes the title really fascinating everything. right now. That's exactly. the thing. That's what makes the title so fascinating right now. You know, Literally, I mean, that any three of us can drop points. That's true. Hundred exactly. percent. We went to their home. We went to their home. They should have beaten us. They should have beaten us. You know, and they didn't do it. So good and okay. So I'm not really afraid of them right now. I'm afraid of what's next. That in fact, right now I'm afraid of Brighton. So it's the game that's next I'm afraid of and I'm wary of. Yeah, I'm, I'm always looking at I'm always looking at the next game. I'm the always looking game. at the next game. And the next game and then the next game. We still have the second half of this match, man. Anything can happen. <laughs> you know, you always <laughs> learn <Lante. laughs> <laughs> Wait, I know what you, I know what you, I know what you want me to say. I know what you want me to say. I'm, I'm expecting us to score more goals, personally. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm expecting in the second half. Yeah. Like, if, if we make this game hard, then I'm not gonna be happy. I tell you that much. But yeah, I expect us to just cruise this game now. Yeah. Yeah, I've been. Uh... Back off, do you think? Uh, back off, do you think this will be a route? Oh, I think it'll be around. We we can definitely get oh. two more goals, but I expect one more. And it's be a, I'm okay. Listen, I'm okay with three. No, but like I mean, uh, uh, I would love to. I would love to go past it. Mm. I expected three. You expect mm. a three a three in a game like this, but nah, I expected three. Oh. I said three one though. Okay. <clears throat> look up. Look uh, up don't our friend it's even better. Says. Look at what our friend here says. Yeah. Um, Drew Gunners. Just read what he said there. It would be great said, for a shock result, result at Anfield tomorrow. Anfield tomorrow. It would, Drew, but I just don't see it, bro. I just don't see it. As Again, much as Sheffield I'd love United. it, I'd absolutely love it, but I just... Sheffield United are awful, bro. I can't yeah, even lie. I mean, they're awful. Cool. Bro, this I'd be very have shocked if they got a result. I'd be very goals this season. Those yeah. guys have got they're like 70 something goals. Yeah, but they, they are real they, bad. Yeah, they also scored uh they, they they somehow scored three goals at the weekend, so and then they gave up the lead. Yeah, they did, and they ended up bottling it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I saw they were three one up at one point. Yeah. I was like, what the hell? Lantek, Lantek said they ended up bottling it. They did it, well, they did. They were winning the game three one, bruv. Against Fulham, I think. Yeah, and then they, uh, they, 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 they came Don't get I me wrong, the goals called... were the goals were terrible they... though. The goals were terrible. Yeah, they've considered like 70, 70 something goals this season, man. Nah, it's madness. Yeah, at one sh... point, at one point, that team used to compete really well against teams. That's the crazy part about that. Yeah, at the time, right? Yeah, because they, yeah, they had that point. formation. No, was it Sheffield United? No, no, yeah, no. Was, was it Sheffield United or Sheffield Wednesday? 
You know, no, 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 no. I don't mean like uh, no, no, no. I mean when they came up to the prem, like a uh, what? No, like, Sheffield Wednesday was back in the day, but yeah. I think he probably means you know the last time Sheffield United were in the prem, not this time, the last time. Not the last they had time, one yeah, season. Yeah. yeah, the one season they had um they done all right, and then the season they got relegated. The other one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, see a guy's uh, first half ended, you know, yeah. quick, quick one, quick one. See, you guys, what do you think? Um, I'll start with your bag of man. Look into that first half, you know, <laughs> no much trouble. Our defense had completely nothing to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Saliba and Magalesh just chilling, relaxing, you know, drinking tea. David Raya, you know, just whistling to the away fans. See, yeah, guys, Arsenal is making this very simple. Thomas Partey leading, doing the captain's job. What do you think, Bagaf? Talk to us, man. Yeah, no, it, Partey's done great. Uh, the midfield's done great. Um, Odegaard scored a goal. Smith Rowe uh, was deadly in the second goal. Um, uh, our attack, Kai Havertz, uh, Kai Havertz has been connecting well. Uh, our wingers are probably like you know they could probably take on more, but even then, like you said, Hazard do a nutmeg. Uh, Nelson's made himself known, so good performance from uh, a good performance all around. Ah, yeah. uh, um, Lantech, man, what do you think, brother? Talk to us, man. Give us an analysis of that, of that um, first half. Yeah, um, decent first half. First 20 minutes, we are just popping the ball around but not taking much shots and that. But as soon as like, we got the first goal, that, that pretty much changed the game. And I mean, we got more comfortable. Probably could have scored a couple more, but we got the goal um, just before half time. So, yeah, man. Yeah. Three points. Three points, man. That's all that's needed. That's what's required. Let me Take that's points, it. Right. All I yeah, want man. is just to boost the goal difference a bit more. That that's all I want out of this game, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, so many Eddie. So is saying Eddie here, they assembled. Do, do you guys want to see Eddie any at any time in this game? Well, Axel Foley. Nah, I'm all right, thanks. Eddie. Does anyone Unless you're gonna to play Eddie? the theme song, then nah, I'm all right, thanks. God damn it. One nil city. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> is he at the is he is he at the eight he had? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, one nil. But but bro, yeah, see, yeah. That's why when see yeah, when when the team goes to that, that eight he had, yeah, that, that place is literally yeah, it's a barbecue roasting grilling center for teams to go. Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. an easy place to go. It's Bro, not. when we went down there, man, when we got that draw, you know, even if we did not <laughs> beat those guys, you know, I, I was a bit... <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> the Etihad is a grilling center for the Arsenal, man. They've grilled lots yeah, of... It has been for the last not how many, many years? Not, <laughs> you know what I mean? Not many teams can be able to withstand the pressure down there at the mm. 80 hat man those guys yeah. will literally be on your neck till the end you know, you know the, the end. intense concentration it takes here to even keep them from scoring is just mad in itself yeah let alone the fact that we could have actually have won the game <laughs> you know what i mean so that's how mad it is but mm. yeah man it's already started mad thing I guess I want to see. Yeah, that team's coming here this summer. Uh, they play Barcelona in a friendly. No, uh, yeah. it's gonna be the the thing with City though is uh, uh, that that was a great goal that they just scored. By the way, like Rodri with like an amazing. Uh, oh yeah, Rodri scored a good goal. Uh, mm. I don't know with City. It's it, it's just like if we have to play them in the Champions League, that's gonna be even. Assuming we get to the uh, semifinals, that's going to be even more deadly. Mm. But they, I think they really want to get that Champions League more than mm. that. See, yeah, guys, yeah, we play Brighton. 
we'll play Brighton next. Uh, do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see Bukarisaka come back for that game, or do you want it to still take the bench, take the back seat now that we're seeing? And again, this is why you have to tr give tryout to the other French players in the team, so you know who can be able to step up. Right now, we're seeing that Emmy Smith Rowe can step up. We've seen it; it's there, yeah. And we haven't even really seen Vieira. I expect to see Vieira in the second half. Do you guys think that when we go when when we're uh, going to Brighton, yeah? Do you guys think that we should uh, 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 bring back Saka and the other big shots down to the team, or we should just go with the same team? No, no, no. Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them, bring back. them back. No, but, no, but again, no, no, no. but again, I, but again, I, have this team performed badly? Have they performed? Poorly? No, no, no. It's, Let's don't forget not, not that even... this this Luton team are, are relegation bound. They're fighting to stay up, so it's not like this game will be. No, not easy even because they happen. play bad. It's, it's not even because they play bad or anything like that. Because um, with Saka, it just depends if he's fit or not. If he's not fit, then just leave him out. Whatever. Like play whoever else on the right, but the team that's been doing well is the team that starts. Like oh. he's, he's rotated, obviously because it's midweek, and he probably felt yeah. that it's Luton, so he could take that chance. But Brighton's gonna be a, a bet; they're a better team than Luton. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't even take that risk. I'll just go with what's working. So that means bringing Deccan Rice back in, bringing Martinelli back in. You know what I mean? Like, get these men back in. Like, I don't want to be playing Zinchenko well, again, against yeah. Brighton, personally. <laughs> I wouldn't play him against Brighton. I wouldn't. I wouldn't risk that. <laughs> I can't oh, run. I would have just put Tivio back oh, in for that days. game. So two days later, we have a two days later we have the Champions League game, right? So um, against Brighton. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like three days later. So, days. Do, do you do you play? Do you yeah, play like three days players? later. Oh, days. do you play your best? Do you play your best players? Uh, or do you uh, do you just let uh, do you, uh, you rotate the squad and then the best players are fresh for like uh the Bayern game? Nah, best players, best players. But the thing is, if if it's a case where where um, it depends on the Brighton game to be honest, because if we're winning like. For example, two, three, nil. Then maybe you could say, you know what, we'll rest maybe one or two players. And but again, but again, Brighton it, away is isn't an easy fixture. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Brighton that's what I'm saying. We can't really fixture. rest anyone away from home is something different. But when yeah. you see that they're home, oh my days, it's a different place to, to be in. That's what I'm saying. Unless that's what I'm saying. Bring all the big hitters let's back. Let's pray that Mitoma doesn't back. have. Let's pray that Mitoma doesn't have the knack for us that day, man. Let's just pray. But one thing I'd say about Brighton is they are going to come at us, so that would leave space at the back. Because they're going to come to play football. They're yeah, not going to sit back. They are not going to sit back. They don't sit back against anyone. You know what I mean? They don't sit back against any team. So, yeah. like, it's a, it's even, a chance even for against, us. Even, even against Liverpool, they, they went head-to-head. Yeah, at Anfield, they, they didn't yes, sit they back have. in that game at all. Yeah. They didn't sit back. They don't sit back. Exactly. Right? So I think there's goals in there for us in that game, personally. But again, but again, this... Uh, okay. But again, yeah, this is how we hyped Brighton the last time they came to the Emirates. Uh, bag of, yeah. And, and then when we said, oh, it's going to be a big challenge... And then we we up muscled these guys, yeah. I think it was like four five one. It, it was a messy one we dealt to them at home. I'm talking of Brighton. We beat them up mercilessly. I think it was four one or something. What well, this season? Remember? Yeah, was but, it four one. But was it away though? Yeah. I, thought, I thought that was at home. I thought that was at home. No, no, no. It was at home. It was at oh, home. No. We beat them. Oh, I can't remember. I think no, we beat it, them. It, yeah, it, it, I remember it, it, beating it, them. This game's away, though, right? It's uh, it's forty five minutes. Right? Yeah, this one is away, but again, we yeah, were hyping away. them before they came to the Emirate, and then when they came, we just smashed them up and pushed them Sorry. off the curb. It, it, sorry, not forty five minutes. Probably like two hours. It's like two hours by train. Mm. So, well, I mean, when you go there, but it's a tough place to go. You're right. 
tough place. But to be yeah, honest, our, our away form has been really good lately. That's one thing I'd say. Yeah. Our I mean, form. We're not really conceding goals yeah. away from home too tough. All right. All right. I expect us to, like... Yes, yeah, so I expect us with our defence to keep them out, personally. I mean, our uh, our fans well, take um, over like guys, a way yeah. stadium. So. Mm. See, yeah, guys, uh, look at this comment here today. It says, "Well done, ESR patient." Uh, see, yeah, th th there's always this problem I'm having, and it's also giving me issues critiquing players. Mm. Also, I remembered when Kai Havertz came to this football club. After I, I, I did, I, I see. I, I wasn't having it. I wasn't having it. Never was that much. Right now, look oh, at no. what he's doing. And assist mm. even in this game today. Look at, look at Emmy Smith Rowe, yeah? Emmy Smith Rowe, this season we said, hey, this guy isn't good enough. Let's sell, you know, let's sell him uh, 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 last summer. Let's push him out to Chelsea Football Club. Right now, look at what he's done right here in this game orchestrating two goals for the Arsenal. And right now, we have a comment here, well done, ESR patient. It, it, you see that flip real quick. I'm not saying that here today is actually, you know, the, the, you know, like kind of like a routing uh, 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 ESR, but I'm just saying it takes just little magic, yeah, <laughs> for, for we fans to just, you know, <laughs> Talk our tails and 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 you know just just do a three sixty and just turn. We completely forget the criticism that we've been dishing out to these people. So that, see, yeah, guys, yeah. That, what do you expect with Emmy Smith Rowe that by the end of the season should we still throw him away? Because uh, this is what I don't want. Where we go, throw this guy away, and then. He comes up for Chelsea and then he starts scoring for Chelsea. He starts orchestrating big moves and his injury might even be more. His injury concerns might just totally disappear. Should this guy leave by the end of the season? Like how every other Arsenal fans have said before today? To be honest, I think he's going to leave anyway. Well, I'll be honest. Regardless of whether we want him to leave or not, I think he will leave. Because he's gonna to want to play football, and I don't, I don't, think so. I don't, see I don't think so. He came out three weeks ago and said, "I, <laughs> I love this football club. I want to stay here." No, he may want to stay here, but does the three manager want him to stay? That's the thing. It, but the manager not, had when, the opportunity he to, to stay. sell him, and he didn't sell him this summer. He had the chance to sell ESR to Chelsea for forty million pounds, and. He, he, he said he's not for sale. Well, you know, I, so uh, yeah, it you makes a difference. Manager, so if you say the manager wants to keep him, he should have sold him for £40 million. Pounds. Why keep him and make him deteriorate right now? Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's our tether, bro. It's our tether, like. You know what I mean? He, he, he also said um, the king of Zamunda wanted to stay. You know what I mean? And he kept him. So, like, it's our tether, isn't it? That's what he does sometimes. Yeah, so uh, no, second, I mean, half, second half has started. But, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I like Emo Smith role, but I, I personally think he's going to leave anyway. Personally, mm -hmm. I think he's going to go. Yeah, so second half has started, and uh, um, it's 1-1 one, one in the other game. Uh, huh? so City actually, Aston Villa? Yeah. Uh, so Durant, oh, yeah, Duran's the squad. Duran. 1-1. Duran, John Duran, John Duran. Duran. Oh my days! That's oh, good. come on, Unai, Unai Emery, come on, my son. You know, yeah. Unai. But guys, don't, but guys, don't jubilate too much, man. We're still going to face Aston Villa, man. Who? <laughs> look at Partey. No, 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 no. Don't laugh. <laughs> Bagav is having a laugh down there, no, man. Man. bro. No, I'm having, oh, no, man. I'm looking at Thomas Partey, man, right? I'm, I'm looking at Thomas Partey, what he just did, I'm like, damn. Like, what I'm saying, Villa, okay. Villa can, Villa can Villa do Villa things, Villa. you know. Because I saw you having a laugh, I automatically yeah. thought that maybe you're laughing at City, because we're still nice. going to face Aston Villa. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so are Liverpool. <laughs> I mean, we've, all three of us got to face Villa at some point. Yeah. 
So they're going to have a big say in this title race, personally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If I'm a big if say. I'm if I'm and Tottenham as well, yeah. And Tottenham. Eddie Dawes, man. Shout out Eddie Dawes. Yeah. But, but that's that's what title races always come down to other teams. Mm. It's never the head to head that decides that. anything. Like, yeah. yeah. But this is this is nice though. I'm liking uh, I'm liking the one touch. Yeah. Okay, Luton is passing the ball around. Yeah, just passing the ball in the midfield. They're trying to create space. Drew Gunner says mm -hmm. no to Eddie. He says apparently we are the only team in two years to stop City scoring at home, and that's true, man. That's true. No yeah, we other are team. That's true. No other team, but but again, but again, why is it that we're, we're not satisfied with what? Because after a while, yeah, I, I was really dissatisfied at first, but later on, man, I I came to terms mm -hmm. with with what Arsenal did at the eight he had, bro. It's not easy, man. That's a barbecue grilling room for many people, man. <laughs> it's been, it's the been that, that for years. Like, they barbecue us every day at any time, you know, in that stadium. Yeah. So that, later on, I was like, okay, maybe, just maybe we, maybe. But we haven't you noticed, Tony? The difference, the difference is, yeah, we've done something that we don't normally do when we go to um, the Etihad. We actually sat back and kept it tight. <laughs> and I said all along, yeah, that's the way to beat City. Keep it tight and hit on a counter attack. The only mistake we did was not put no pace in our attack. That's the mistake that we did. Because had we did that, we would have had more of a chance, personally. But we live bro, and learn. Bro, 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 if we did, if we, if we do anything in attack, man, those guys will steamroll us, bro. No, I'm, I'm see, talking about on the counter This guy's had up to 75% of the ball possession. Oh, no. we're, we're just defending on the day. <laughs> if we release any man up front, we're dead, fam. <laughs> Those guys are ready, man. No, no, you know, what, you, know, you know why I'm saying that? Because um, what we did is put Jesus on the left. If we had Martinelli on the left, that would have made a bit of a difference. I mean, In terms of the way we counterattacked. We, we, we was never going to have the possession. Bless me, we was never going to have pos yeah. more possession in them. That was never going to be the case. Back but the way to beat them is the counterattack. I mean, we got four points against City, I guess. I mean, I, I, I really, I didn't like the, I didn't like that game, but like, I guess whatever it is. Yeah, it, it, is you were it, yeah, it was a crappy game. Back it was a crappy game. Back was fuming, man. Back no, was just, fuming. I, I, in the first half, it called the team a disgrace. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. Because oh. it was like a, it was very half-hearted what we did. Like, we, we like the press, the, uh. Like looking back on it, like I mean, oh, we didn't, we didn't press at all. We just let them have the ball. It's like it was like a half-hearted press at best. Like I mean, you yeah. either you either all in or all out. Like usually, but but, but see, yeah. But later on, I checked the whole thing. Yeah, what were asking Mikel Arteta to do? Yeah, the top managers in the league haven't done it. Even Klopp I mean, haven't yeah. even <laughs> taken four points away from City. Yeah, the both of their games are well, yeah. They've never done it. Uh, yeah, you know, neither has Pep done it to, to Liverpool at Anfield, you know, in that way. So yeah. why do we expect Mikel Arteta to get to get uh to get uh, six points when even the top managers who have even won the league <laughs> haven't even gotten up to four points? No, I just wanted to see more bravery. That that was the issue. Like it was, uh, 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 it, it, I'm never okay with like just going there for a draw and playing for a draw. I'm or draw, there. yeah, I get that. Me yeah, too. Yeah, because I wanted too. to win. I wanted to win. I wanted to win. I wanted to win. But it was when when, bro, when I checked it later on, man, bro, man, it's 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 difficult, man. It's difficult, man. It's difficult. Like, no, they, mean, don't, uh, they don't okay. lose there too often. That's the thing. They don't really lose there. Yeah. Too I mean, tough. I, 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 That's I get one the, thing I'd say. 
I get that. I, I get that. But at the same time, like... But at uh, the same time, I still want to win regardless. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why can't we be the team that beats them? It's one thing to go there and, like, yeah. have, you know a I mean? have, have a go yeah. and get a draw. It's, a, it's it's another thing just to play for a draw like uh, like we did. Because mm. exactly. look at Villa now. They just scored. Um, they, 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 they got their 1-1 so far. But you know what I mean? So Villa attacked more than we did. Uh, uh, <laughs> on, on the flip side of that... You might need, you might have to do that in the Champions League. So, like, uh, at least it's good to know that we're not, we're not just gonna get, uh, uh, uh we can, we have that in our locker at least. You're gonna have to do that oh. in the Champions League because the teams are more difficult. Yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. Big up to Coach Jadash. Big up to you, man. Big up to you, Coach. Coach, how are you doing, man? Big up to you, man. I hope you're okay. And um, of course, Aston is leading to go to nil. Uh, mm-hmm. Do we keep, you know, do we keep it fresh or do we kind of like, you know, start uh, uh, mixing players about right now? What do you think, man? Talk to us. Here today, still down here. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse is down here with us, yeah. This lady has a great channel, um, Jesse Talks Football Fan Channel. You know, go subscribe mm-hmm. to that channel, guys, if you haven't, yeah. She's a, she's a lovely person and, um, you know. Big up. Probably working with her quite soon. And she says, Hey, just popped in to smash the like button. Hope you all well. Yes, we're all well, Jesse. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, I'll get to uh, uh, get some things done with you. You know, she has a channel. She's just simply carefree in that channel. You know, she has, you know, lots of people that co host with her, but she's a nice person. She's from Lee, as in, she likes. Um, uh, she runs a Leeds channel, but she does other kind of shows too. Arsenal, watch okay. alongs and stuff, but she supports Leeds. Yeah. But the, the channel is a good play. channel anyway. Fair play, man. That's a good... Uh, it, they might be coming back up, so... Yeah, they might be coming back up. Yeah, I think so, man. Yeah. And I heard that Calvin Phillips, Calvin Phillips might be going back to Leeds, I heard yeah. that they want to save him. Probably, from the, his only team, probably the only team he can go back. He ain't I, going I, have no, I have no idea what happened to that guy. Um, he, he's check, he's won a treble, I guess. He's won a treble. <laughs> sort of. Kelvin Phillips. Um, coach says, yeah, he won a treble, but man um, didn't contribute nothing to that treble, bro. <laughs> He might have just got the medals, right? and that was it. He, he, he probably doesn't. <laughs> I mean, he probably doesn't. He not in the life team, bro. His life is set. <laughs> coach, coach says, um, ESL found his level out. Sell him and buy Xavi Simons. It's loot and relax. Yeah, I get. Yeah, but come on, man. We have other people that were to sell in this team. How about Eddie? Uh, Ke- yeah, number one. Gonna, number Xavi one Simmons. on that list. He should be Xavi. the one to leave first. First, Javi Simmons is not going to be available. He's going to go back to PS. He's not going to be available. And other clubs. Oh, Arsenal's in the counter attack. Oh my days! Oh, what happened? No penalty. Wow. I'm surprised at no penalty for the Arsenal. Oh, I think that tackle was outside the 18 year box, but I don't know, man. Mr. Nelson, that wasn't enough. Again, man, I, I really want us to to score more goals here, man. More goals. More goals needed. Uh-huh. Straight. See, um, Baggers, what do you think about sports, man? I've always wanted to ask you that question, yeah? Uh, just like someone here, here today, here says, here says, I think we'll humble Deji's pitiful lot as even he admits they are lacking in mentality. Uh, 1 1 against um, West Ham yesterday in the London State. See, don't see, don't take anything away from that game yesterday. Yeah, it was a typical London derby, end to end, lots of battles, you know, lots of. Uh, you know, dramatic moments in that London Derby yesterday. That London Derby was at the London Stadium at West Ham's home, yeah? 
what do you guys think about about this um uh about this Tottenham Hotspur's um dreams of going to the Champions League? Do you guys see them going to the Champions League? Uh I hope not. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't want to hear about their I don't want to hear their song. Cheers, uh, I, I could not care less. But to be honest, I hope Villa get it. I but, personally hope Villa get it. But they got like a so that's <laughs> he's it. still running. He's running. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that, I mean he I guess they got what they wanted. They wanted that uh rock. Uh, De Deji uh, must be stressed, bro. Uh, they I'm, wanted I'm that sure like you, uh <laughs> They wanted that like high. Uh, with, they wanted bipolar football, so they got a uh, they got bipolar. Yeah. Football. And they can't be lacking the fact that Villa are drawing at the minute. Yo, oh, they, come like, on, the guard. Why are you doing too much? Oh my oh. God, why are you doing too much? Oh my days. You didn't need to do all of that. Just shoot the ball, brother. That that team. That team Good boy, Trossard. Give it back to Trossard. Oh, see, oh wait, way too long, Smith Oh, mate, the pass, the pass to him was on. Should have passed it straight back. And now he's injured himself again. Oh my days! Just pass the ball, fam. Pass the ball. Oh my god! No, it's a man. It's a man. Oh man, they're just showing that highlight here. Yeah? Oh my days! And Miss Smith Rowe, what a what what a pass, man! What a, a pass. good play from Smith Rowe there. Good play there. Good play, man. Well, I'm saying Smith Rowe's done well today. He's done very well today. I'll give him that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Trossard tracking back has also been interesting. Yeah. But again, tracking back. Come on, man. William Saliba and, and Gabriel Magalhães. Well, that's what, track that, every, that, uh, that, that's let what, him score goals. At, that, 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 bro, that's an excuse, man. He has to score goals. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, that's what that's what people were say, uh, saying about Saka. That's what people were saying about Saka in the Man City game. <laughs> right, right, really right. Well. Yeah, he defended really he well. I mean, what, what's, <laughs> well, what's going on, man? What no, is he doing? It's the same thing with Odegaard. He he ran his socks off. You better be running your socks off. I mean, putting in, you better be putting in like 10 miles, Man, yeah. 10 miles a game. But I don't know why people are getting praised for just running around. Like. That's what you're meant to do, bro. <laughs> I mean, if you're not running on the pitch, bro, then no, I don't know. It, it's just people finding um, reasons. It's pe I think people do it just to be obnoxious and they know it. Like, uh, it's like a. Defending their yeah. you, mean, you, can run, I get you it. can run around all you want. You can still be you can still be shit, bro. Like, <laughs> you know I mean? Even like there's a lot of people around. that you have to remember. There's a lot of people that view football like these are these are their kids, basically. So, mm -hmm. so in that sense, they want to defend them like they're uh, they're uh, they're your kids, basically. They defend them just mm -hmm. so passionately. So, Nuts. my thing's always been like, yeah, let them earn it. If Saka's world class, he'll learn it. It's better for him anyway. It's better for him to like actually earn it. Yeah. Well, if he wants to be world class, he better turn up in no. all of these games. The, the, issue <laughs> that, the, the, the issue, the issue that happens is like when you gas him up way too quickly, and then it's like, uh, yeah, uh, that it's like you know, if if you're truly elite, you know you're elite. You don't have to say it, but like yeah. some people, mm -hmm. what it is is like they'll just overhype yeah. everything, and it's just like, uh, there's no way around it. The PR is just so strong. The PR just becomes so strong that you can't come back from it. Yeah, that that's just the English media and the PR, man. It's not just the that, media. That's what they the, do. Some of the fans also. There's also a lot yeah, of, and the, but I then again, the fans, yeah. but then again, some of these people that have sponsorship tickets, they're gonna do that. Just just to, uh, they're gonna do that regardless. The mm. clubs kind of like paid that off, like marketing agencies. Yeah, They'll give them like free stuff, yeah. like you know, free tickets to the game, like free luxuries at the game. So, <clears throat> big up to AJ. AJ says, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps Tony out. Yeah, man, exactly. AJ, man, thanks, man. AJ is our new moderator, big guy. You know, lovely person. He loves football. You know, big up to you, man. Thanks, AJ, man. And of I'm course, sure the channels of this other gentleman. 
uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Arsenal's the same way as uh, the sports teams here. There's corporate boxes, right? So like some some people will always get to go go to games just based on if their company buys mm-hmm. off the tickets. <sighs> like does does that happen? Like where like corporate wow. stuff, corporate stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, definitely, man. So, like, so, so those I same, don't know. Ask, those same ask, fans are, is just so good in PR stunts, yeah. Yeah, but those same people are the same ones that will gas up everything on social media, everything, just because they want to yeah. keep their, they want to keep their. Nah. Yeah. And again, it's I, funny, bro. It, I think lots of brown envelopes is going around too, man. No, no, it's funny. It, it's funny, like how many people? Or do you think? Many... Or do you think there's no brown envelopes going around? Oh, I know, I know that. Like, I mean, oh, there's so, brown it, envelopes it, all over the guy. Dishing out minerals. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's be real, bro. <laughs> Dishing out minerals. Man, brown envelopes ain't nothing new, bro. Brown oh, envelopes, man. Brown envelopes. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure there's like a group chat. There's there's a group chat where like everyone's like, we're gonna have to post this PR at the same exact time. It happens every week. It's a, mm. it's the same story that comes out at the same time, and it's like how. It's like uh, I don't know who leads that group chat, but yeah, Deji Spores was talking tough. He said that they're in the title shout, that they might win the league or they might even at first he said they were gonna win the league. You know, later on he moved the goalpost. He Wait, was this like early in the season? They're gonna he finish said above that. Arsenal, yeah. bro. Bro, they was, geez, was that I like early in the season? He was saying that it's running. Well, when when, when they were anyway. top. For like two games or something. <laughs> oh my days! I mean, oh my days! They just had a chance now, man. Mm. So wait, uh, how far mm. are they from like Champions League anyway? I think I, uh, I, I stopped two or three points point. behind Villa. I, I start. I stopped mm-hmm. looking at that portion of the table. Yeah. Well, last time I checked, there were three points behind. So I, I don't know. So Manchester. Uh, I have to check the table. Oh, here it is. So we have Tottenham in fifth at fifty-seven. Oh, it's like fifty-seven sixty. Aston Villa has sixty. Villa has sixty. Surprising, like uh, so uh, Villa Villa are only like five points behind City. It's insane. Yeah, they ain't catching them. Yeah. <laughs> They're not. I was like, Man United. Man United is definitely getting guys. Them. Europa. Guys, uh, please could could you check that uh, Man City Aston Villa game? It's one one. It's still one one. It's still one one. Still one one. Oh, it's still one one. Oh, it's oh, a um, days. How far? We, I think good. it's what the first half still. Still the first half. It's good. Yeah, it's five minutes left. It's good. Mm. Um, it's good. World. I hope it stays Shout that way. It's much Canadian in the house. He's down here, you know. The big Canadian is down here. Our brother, Moss. He says, love, love, ESR, Zini, Partey, Riz, all working hard and well. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Moss. Moss. Big up, Moss. He's a hype machine, man. <laughs> he is a hype Moss. machine. <laughs> He's a hype machine. He's a hype machine, man. Moss. You know, you know them Moss. hearts, boy. Moss, man. Moss, you should Jeez. work for the football club, man. You should work oh, for the football sure club. Man, it, it's club it's man. If he could, <laughs> it's don't sensational. bring the striker. Sure it's all good. Martin could, Odegaard disappears from game. Oh, shut it. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Odegaard <laughs> is always in games. <laughs> and oh, that my if you, God. If, oh, oh, my, my God. God. Oh, oh, my God. Axel Foley oh. is making his entry. Axel Foley, you know. Axel Foley. Axel Foley. Jesus. Oh Who's Axel Foley? <sighs> this guy, man. The king of Zamunda. You know what? I'd love to see Matty's reaction right now, you know. I'd love to see what Matty is saying. Because I bet you he's saying exactly what I'm saying. I bet you. I bet you. I can't believe this, man. Why is he coming on? Okay, but is there any need to risk? Is there any? Is but is there any need to actually bring in the claim rice in this game? No. 
Oh, let's keep his Is legs fresh, I guess. But for the... I don't think we need. Yeah, yeah. It's probably one oh, of them ones where he's he? adding a bit oh, more oh, security. Oh, 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 I thought. Uh, Paul, Paul, shout out to Oregon Gunner, my brother. Oregon Gunner, my brother, my brother. How are you doing, Oregon? Big up, says, my, oh, Paul, my brother. Oregon, Oregon Gunner. Yes, Oregon. How are you, brother? Talk to us, man. Talk I to have us. Oh, hmm? uh, you know what? No, it's all. Imagine if okay. the King of Zamunda actually scores. <laughs> I know. I know. Nah. Talking about. I missed that one. He's but, not. Hey, he's so not, he's not going to score, man. Partey and uh, no, I'm Partey not, I don't think he's scoring either. Partey and Havertz. <laughs> yeah, 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 Partey yeah, yeah, and Havertz yeah. had a great game, though. He's not going to do anything, man. No, he ain't doing nothing. I mean, I guess. Nah. Uh, you know, it's not bad. Though. Oh, Havertz bad came off. Yeah. Oh, I see, I didn't see that. Okay. Hey, so, so it's not... I'm surprised to see that actually. So, but you know, 30 minutes left. Uh, well, minutes he probably left. thinks this game's over, so he put, probably thought, again, you know what? I'm again, just gonna sneak the king as a murderer. 67th minute is too early, it's too early to bring Kai Havertz off. Oh my days, I know we criticize the manager for not making changes making early. <laughs> But this one, no, it, it was just that change you didn't need to make. That particular change, the other change was fine. Really? It's that one. Yeah. Oh, my that's the thing. I mean, yeah, he, he probably has a contract, uh, he, he probably has it in his contract for a certain amount of appearances. Uh, oh, man, no, uh, no, no. Th those two changes were wrong. Those two changes were wrong. What the Declan Rice one, but then, uh, but Partey. then again, like uh, Partey, no, Partey can only Partey. Probably he's probably seen it as part of oh, playing that in minutes, or he's trying no, to he's manage him. Caught. He's still getting, I reckon he's trying to manage him. Also, it's also good because uh, know, if Declan but, Rice, it's al also to bring Rice, but it keeps him fresh though for 30 minutes. It's to play 30 minutes, it keeps you fresh. Why not, uh, why give, not him, give him a run why out? Not Jorginho? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's true. So Jorginho, that guy needs. That guy needs more. more, more well, remember so. Tony. He did say Jorginho's played how many games? Three or four, four games. So maybe he's the one that needs the rest, brother. Maybe he's the one that needs the rest. Yeah. No, nah, I mean. Okay. Nah, he ain't no spring chicken either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's good that they completely. Bro, like, uh, they completely bro, I, I don't want anything to happen. I don't want anything to happen to Declan Rice. Let's protect that guy by any means necessary. Because, bro, we have. Uh, bro. No, no, he has to stay. Bayern him. Munich coming up. No stories, man. No, no stories. Yeah. We have to win that first leg. No stories. And we have to give these um, guys like three, four. We have to. Because when we, we go have to, to the Adiens Arena, something yeah, but different. It, it, so you can also see it as you can also see it as like look at Reese Nelson. He played. He's going to play full ninety today. So it's in that sense like giving Saka okay. the whole day off. It, it, uh, yes, yeah. he he can gain form the next one in a way. So, oh yeah. But you're right though. Like things oh, like yeah. things in the prime turn. Things in this prime can turn like that though. That's the only thing. Mm. Two nil. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Dubai Realty with the sponsorships. Let's see. Well, there's nothing like resting your two main players. Uh, yeah. For the game. Oh, you. So I forget. Oh, I have oh my days. Live. Loop. Oh, there. Luton are trying I to... are starting to attack now. They're trying to open up, open us up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But, bro, our defense but, is... But I did say Luton do attack, God. though. They do attack. Our, our defense is capable. Hey! Bro, our defense is capable. Bro, when last have you seen this defense in an Arsenal uh, team, uh, man? Bro. Yeah. Bro, no, that, that's, long, that's the thing that I'm confident in this Bobby's team the most the defense. <laughs> mm. bro, bro, I haven't seen this kind of defending. 
that, that, that oh, no. bag of shock, man. This defending this season, man, I, I don't know. No, I, this, I don't is, know, this, is a, this is a championship. Well, there's a big, there are big reason why we're in the title race. It's a championship. You know what I mean? Ooh. We don't concede a lot of chances. We don't concede a lot of goals. That's what people always said last year. Is, uh, mm. It's out of this world. Yeah. Like a solid rock. Like Very no solid. one, no one can penetrate. It's like a rock. But that, that's the way I like it, though. If they can't yeah, penetrate sure. us, it gives us more chance of winning. You know what I mean? Luton have literally. tried everything. Everything. Ev like, literally everything just to penetrate. But nothing, man. Mm. Like, nothing. Man, I, I, I give it to this defense, man. This yeah, is really the, the best defense. In, this is the best defense in Europe, Bagov. You have to agree, man. The last time I told you this, you were kind of like, no, no, like, no, when you get into Europe, I think Real Madrid's defense, Martinelli like, and Tom, Tommy Asu, Real Madrid, on. yeah, but their defense, their, it, it, even though it hasn't shown it, like when you're talking Europe, like. Come champion, bro. I'm talking of the ones that have shown it. <laughs> Baggers, <laughs> why <laughs> leave the stream of water and get into the stream and drink? I'm talking of the people that have showed it. These oh, guys it, yeah. are showing it. See, yeah, see, we, we're all in these conversations talking about how the premiership is the best league in the world. Put your money where your mouth is. If this league is the best league in the world and the two best centre-back pairings in this league are flying that flag, why aren't we giving them the best defenders it's in cause, Europe? Because it's not the best league in the that, world. That, it's not the best league in the world. The, okay, good. Then, then which is the best league in the world? I think La Liga is actually... It, it's more skillful. It's more Ser skillful in La Liga. Serious? Are you serious? Where two teams are competing? In, in terms of like technical ability, exactly. La Liga has got yeah. more technical. Yeah, like, it, it, but if you're weekend, talking about entertainment value, then you're going to say premiership. But if you're talking about technical ability, yeah. it's, it's bro, we all, we, all know, we all know that the premiership is the best league in the world. No, it's not, bro, right? no, it's bro, not. bro, we all know. We no, all not, know right? this. All mm. these other sentiments, man. We all know. No, it's then, not. It's the most, then why would you say the PR is the best? It's the P, it's the, it's the most watched best. league in in um the I world as well. PR and all the stuff, but this is the best league in the world. People literally want to watch this. How many no, people I mean, want to watch La Liga people. apart from Real Madrid, Atletico de Madrid, and, and Barcelona? No one wants to I mean, watch them. People want to see Tottenham of... Hotspurs. People want to see Aston Villa. People want to see West Ham. Yeah, but that's because the game. Throw it away. Like, people want to even see Everton. Like in the relegation scrap. Bro, there's so many reasons why this league is the best league in the world. Entertainment value. Like, Drew Gunners is saying, whatever happened to Timber coming back? Is he, is he in the oh, squad? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot I about that. Is he in the squad? I heard, I heard, no, he's not in the squad. I heard a, oh. I heard a, I heard a re, re his ACL, but I think it was probably a, an April Fool. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! He, no, no, no! It's no. It's, Timber has a good chance to return this season. That's what uh, Arteta said. Um, um but uh, clearly ain't fit then. <laughs> no, did, 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 did you, the did you hear what I said? I said at the end they said it's an April Fool. Oh yeah. Post. Oh well, so there you go. He clearly ain't fit. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> I, 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 I even said I don't expect to see him fully until next season anyway. Oh, yeah. Like, in terms of starting games and stuff. Yeah, but I think he needs to get, like, a couple yeah. of appearances medals, right? So he, he needs to get some appearances for the medals. <clears throat> oh, City 2-1. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, City scored. Yeah. Who scored for City? Foden. Foden? Mm, Phil Foden. Oh my days, no. Well, okay, it's not where, was, where was Foden? Where was Foden against us? Why didn't he come out and score against us? We didn't give him no, we didn't give anyone not any chances. Actually, <laughs> but actually, they will all say is what 
You, you know how I credit for that? But like they would say it's world class. Everyone would say it's world class. But you know, oh, you know who actually was uh, instrumental in like the Foden thing? That's Jorginho. Jorginho was really good against Foden. Oh, he sort of man marked him, kind of. Yeah, he man marked him, which is mm. uh, so. I, I, that's the thing. Sometimes you gotta look at it like that. But yeah. But you're so, right. Oh, this defense. So is keep the no. This defense look is at, nice. Um, uh, look at here today. It says Madrid centre backs haven't been on the level of ours this year, bro. We are on something else. This man, them, yeah, they're on steroids, bro. Bro, have you seen this defense? Bro, this defending is immaculate defending, man. No mm. teams penetrate. After, uh, bro, I can count how many times teams penetrate. In fact, the only time I've been scared about this defense is it's just the city game. I've never been scared of this defense at all this season. Yeah. Like not even once. I mean, the teams that the teams that scored the most against us that uh, is probably surprisingly Luton. Uh because they scored, what was it like three, four when we played them? I think Manchester United uh had Manchester United had chances. So that game was kind of tight. Uh yeah, but we also had chances too. We also had chances of our we own. We won the game. We won the game. No one's found Dalo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's found Diego Dalo own. yet. We had, I don't think we did. Yeah. yeah. We had lots of chances too. But that I mean, was around about the time where we wasn't even really playing well. Yeah. We were just, we were just getting results. Just about. Now, right I mean, about now, it's, it's different. Yeah, February was nice. February was a really nice month. I will say that. February was a really nice month. Yeah, we were a flapping team February. in February, bro. It was slapping um, everyone. It was mad. <laughs> it was mental, bro. Mental, bro. It Drew Gunner so, says, bro, our defense are bad. Five, six, two, every week. How's that? What's going on? Oh, good block, Trossard. Good boy, Trossard. Oh, it's the king of Zamunda. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What's he going to do? All right, you've done well do there. Right? I'll give him that. Go on, Tommy. I see. The king of Zamunda. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I know. It, it, and also, early in the season, Inkedia was starting all the time. He started yeah, exactly, in that game. Man. I swear he started in that game, didn't he? Yeah. I think, I think, I remember him starting in one of those games. thinking of offloading him. We should be offloading him. All these guys are now which bill. We need to get them off. Yeah, at the Inca, That's yeah. fine. Uh, He's still gonna uh, go for forty. He's uh, gonna go for forty million. Ced Cedric the Entertainer. All these guys, yeah, they all need to leave. All of yeah, them. He's gonna, he, he's gonna be. Uh, to get rid of all of them. He's gonna be uh, what do you call it? Uh, he's gonna be sold for like a good forty million somewhere. British tax and all. That's if anyone's stupid enough to buy him for that much. No, but British tax and all, like uh, British tax and all, it's gonna happen. Like, because um, think about it, like, oh, uh, it, like a team like Luton or like you know Brentford or something, forty mil for like what? Like he's gonna stay there for a while, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll probably suit a team like Luton, probably. Yeah, or a team like Ramsdale, that. even Ramsdale. See, we have up to at least four to five players that could. Just leave this team immediately, yeah. and we'll rip. To, we'll rip some benefits, yeah. And, and getting some proper quality, getting some quality. Get, oh man, Dave. that's what I mean. Ramsdale, and then maybe guys. we can, yeah. yeah, yeah, and then maybe we can go even further. Off. Yeah, man. Nah, apparently like, Newcastle want Ramsdale. I think from I what mean, I'm hearing. I mean, as a backup, no, they, 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 they want him as a backup or like uh, probably to uh, what? What the goalkeepers? Pope isn't? It? Yeah, is but it is, it, is he injured? Pope? Yeah, I think he's injured. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, so I don't, I don't know. Is, uh, he, he, would probably, way, he, he would probably fit. He would probably fit Newcastle though. Hmm. 
<laughs> That's probably a good I, I mean, even, uh, if Chelsea want him, like we can do a swap deal for uh, Mudrik. Nah, I don't want Mudrik. Yeah, <laughs> but he's pure pace, though. Like, uh, I think he would have. Yeah. He he, uh, he has some skills that. Uh, and like, he, he, he I know. Like he's him. another. He reminds me of Havertz in some ways. I uh, like. Uh, <laughs> If if he if he if he came to Arsenal, his career would be flourishing. But there was no way it was going to happen with the uh, the third parties involved in that deal. Nah. Yes, I'm glad we didn't buy him. Like you can, uh, so Shakhtar really needed that money. So I mean, because of all the uh, all yeah, the stuff that, happened, so. they probably couldn't believe their luck that they got that amount, bro. So I he mean, he barely played more more than. I don't even think he played a hundred games in total. In his whole career, no, nah, but he was, he, but he was electric in, in in the games that he in the Champions League games that uh mm. played. So I mean, in a way, like if we get if we get someone like Mudrik, he would be perfect on like one of the wings. It would be personal. Per, it would be perfect on the left wing as a backup. You no, know I'll I'll take um. I, I was gonna say Cole Palmer, but he ain't, probably ain't gonna come ain't to us. But <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the only other player I'll take from Chelsea is probably probably Enzo. Uh, he's. Uh, I think uh, he's probably going to go to a bigger team like in Spain or something. Mm. But I think he would suit a team like Arsenal. I just think Chelsea are just rubbish. Yeah, the, yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he would suit us. He would suit us. Yeah, he, he would definitely suit us in the midfield. But I think so. I think we're gonna. Uh, we're definitely gonna get a left back this summer. Yeah, because that Zinni, well, and that, that, I don't see that working next season. Man. I think we unless might he, need a... unless, he, unless we put him in the midfield, then I'll be happy. But if he doesn't, then there's no point having him, personally. I mean, you got to, uh, so a couple, uh, I had this debate. Uh, I'm like, these players are so lovable. Every team has to evolve, like. It has to constantly keep changing and evolving. Otherwise, you just get left behind. So, mm-hmm. if there's players that we can bring in that are better than the current ones, definitely we let people go. That's the way it should be. Yeah, you need to improve the, the squad, get some more quality players in, man. Get rid of these dead fringe players that are not doing nothing, bro. And then we'll actually have a proper squad to compete on all, all fronts. All fronts yeah. Instead of still, throwing, I, I, throwing I, away I, cups all the time, bruv. I still think we can compete but, in the Champions League uh, with that defense we got, though. That's the thing. No, the defense don't need to be changed. I just no, think no, it's no. the rest of the squad. Yeah, yeah. It's like, good. definitely need a striker, need a couple of wingers, a couple of midfielders. But, at but least. again, do, do we need a left back? Do we need a left back? Like, all right, so uh, do you want to keep Zinchenko? I don't know. It depends where he plays Timber in. Yeah, that's the other one. Is he so, gonna play him yeah. on the left or is he gonna play him in Ben White's position? Because I don't know. I know he could play both, I think. Yeah, the thing with uh the thing with Timber being available, you can play like five at the back when you need to. And he's still mm-hmm. gonna like hell because he's creative as hell, like Timber when he He's a good footballer, Timber. He's a good footballer. From what I've seen. Um yeah, I think he just gives you freedom, freedom of uh, uh formations uh, uh, with Timber. Either way, I'll still, I'll still get another um, left back anyway. Just we do I mean, obviously, striker is the biggest one, uh, the biggest uh, requirement this summer. Oh, hundred percent. I mean, definitely do the gunman, man. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt, man. What else do we need? Like, I mean, so if Jorginho goes, then uh. Might need to replace that. Um, I think we need another number ten as well. But I think Smith yeah, will well, probably go. Older guard, yeah, he's got no competition. But that's another position that Mudra can play. Like, so that's why I was like, yeah, oh, swap deal made sense actually at the time. Because he can mm. play, he can play in the center, he can play on the left, and he can play on the right. Mm. I, don't know, I just, I just don't see that happening. Not to be honest. I'd be surprised, but to be honest, I don't know. I'm just tired of getting Chelsea players, if I'm being honest with you, bruv. Unless yeah, we're going to get some decent ones. The only issue with that is, like, they actually, every every player that leaves actually does better. 
<laughs> True. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Uh, Christian Pulisic has gotten better. Uh, Loftus Cheek has actually gotten better. Um, the only player that hasn't gotten better is Mason Mount. Um, because we uh, again, Mount, it's only uh, again, it's only just a season after they've left. Let's see how they look like consistently. You know, yeah, uh, probably after the season, next season. Let's well, let's Tom- see Tom- how got better. Tomori got, got, like, got a lot better. I don't yeah, know what it is. Tomori, it's like yeah. I, I, I don't know what it is. Is it the pressure? Is there a lot of politics to get into the squad uh, at at a at a place like Chelsea? I just don't know what that is. But uh, no, but again, again, you see, it still boils back. It still circles back to the same argument we're having before: the best league in mm-hmm. the world. They can go to Italy and start, you know, turning up these defenses and tearing it up. Schumacher, who was scoring lots of goals in Italy, came down here to West Ham, not even the bigger teams, yeah? He went to West Ham. And after, yeah. bro, after half a season, the guy threw in the toilet. He wanted out. He oh. didn't want to come here. Bro, this is one of the hardest leagues in the world, man. I, I don't know. Maybe it's because we were always watching it, so we tend not That's to, exactly you know... That is what it is. Probably not yeah. to not respect it the way it should be respected. Bro, other leagues, man, you, you were raking goals. You were yeah. raking goals. No, La Liga is hard as hell to like raking goals. Most of those games were like 2 0. Like, uh, <sighs> 2 0. Like, like, somewhere like, like Germany, you would bang goals. Yeah, so in Germany, you can bang goals. They, they play a lot of high lines, you see. Yeah, and France, you, got you can pace and you can finish. What? But again, why do you guys think that Lukaku, yeah, always, all the time, whenever he comes down here to England to actually make anything of his career, he ends up fluffing his lines. But whenever he takes that trip back to Italy... <laughs> no, he had a good season at Chelsea, though, but it, but it was the off-the-field stuff that uh, got him. Which, he had a which, se- which season was he good? Which season? The, Which one? The, the only one that he played. Like it was a, uh, it, it, it was. I think he had like thirteen goals that season, actually. Uh, but he, for, uh, but the amount of time that he played was. Uh, nah, he's Kai Havertz so started. Kai Havertz started over him. That's the Bro, he's fluffed his lines at Man United. It's fluffed his lines at Chelsea. After that season, where he scored some setting goals, the, the last time he was good. Still a good player. The last yeah. time he was good in England when he was playing for Everton. Everton, nah, yeah. that was yeah. where you were Everton. playing in the world at Everton. Yeah, yeah. but exactly. he's not a big. It, I don't know. The big teams don't. Suit it wasn't them. big, 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 big. It wasn't a big, big hit even at yeah, Everton. Yeah, but they never. He but they never. Big hit. Hit. But it a wasn't a the, big, big hit. A lot of the, hit, the, lot of the teams never. It was their main man for goals. That he was definitely scoring goals at Everton. That's one thing I'd say. But that's probably his yeah, level. Sure. No, I mean, no, nah, he's probably not good yeah. enough to play for the bigger teams. That's probably what it is. No, I mean, uh, so, I mean uh, but again, striker, but again, I don't want to be at, but I don't think it's about the bigger teams in England or whatever. I just really think it's it's a country thing. I think it's the league thing. Because if this guy goes back to Italy, he ends up scoring goals. When he went back to Inter Milan, he kept scoring goals. Hmm. Even yeah, in the, Roma, he's putting up decent figures. So, you know, again, these are big arguments, but that's a testament to this league. This is one of the hardest leagues to actually, you know, hone your skills. One of the hardest. You have to prove it's, yourself. It's a hard league. You have to, to prove it's yourself. It's definitely harder to adapt to this league than most others. Come on, prove because yourself. The, intens- the intensity is different. Exactly. Yeah, but, no, I mean, but, but but you say that, but you know, you, you saw Ilkay Gundogan like succeed here. He goes to Barcelona, is not tearing it up. Yeah, it just depends on the player. Oh, again, some but, players uh, thrive no, in the it's not about the player in that one. The whole team is shit. The whole Barcelona hmm. team is shit this season. <laughs> Do you want uh, him to only so carry that team alone? <laughs> Come on, man. No, but and but, the guy no, is but, not, like, he's but, not but he's still not. He's not in but his he still 20s. hasn't. He hasn't reached he's right, Gund- 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 in his mid okay. anyway. Yeah. So he's, he's not going to carry that team. So that's, why left, yeah. that's why I left to go to Barcelona for playing time. Like, because uh, a lot of those players that leave the Pep system, too. But... Mm. I don't know. I, it, it's a difficult one to say it's the best in the world, but I think definitely England and Spain are probably like head in head. Like, they're, they're pretty close. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. And like Rome is already out, chilling. Uh, the, the Portuguese league Who has all the future for stars for some reason. That's crazy. Yeah, Portuguese league. I like some certain players in that Portuguese league, yeah. Gioqueres, Pepe, you know. Yeah. Galeno, these are good players, you know. I like um what what was what was that youth's name again? Okay, the one that the one that cooked us a bit. Wendell, I think that, you know I would, I would go for Wendell. What's his name again? Consensus. Yeah. Consensus. That's the guy. Consensus. Yeah. Hey, but him. hey, but but him. Don't me, I would go for I would go for Wendell the, the, uh, the left back. Uh, nah, he was cooking. Wendell, I thought, Wendell, like, Wendell, he was cooking. Wendell, 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 I, I, left back wise, like I think he is gonna. Be he's definitely he's definitely one of the best like left backs in the world. So he mm, plays for Brazil. Too. Is good. He plays for Brazil. Good. Yeah, plays for no. Brazil. Uh, and again, it's a starting place he has down there at Brazil. A starting place. The only thing is his. The only thing is his age is like thirty, but he's coming into like. He, I think he's he's just he feels like a late bloomer in some ways, but. Yeah, but yeah. again, he doesn't even look thirty. Yeah, he looks young. Yeah. His physique looks okay, you know. It's not doing badly, man. No, yeah, he's he doing his thing. But the rest of the leagues, it's like, yeah, France. You're right, like absolute score lines in France. Uh, um, Germany is the same way. It's like you can have like games that are like six, seven, no. <laughs> yeah. Italy is a weird one. Italy, I feel like sometimes like the defense is a. Uh, you think you come against good defenses, but I think what it is mm -hmm. is like they actually build around the strikers a bit better. They make the system actually. Uh, you know, you you talk about Skamaka, right? Do you think how much of a role does uh, the language play though? Like, imagine like not being able to like you know English adapting to, like some place in England. Yeah, yeah, England, that's another one. Yeah, but, you know but, some but of again, these Italian I... players they don't really like the English weather. You know, what I'm a lot of it, a lot it's of Italian. Yeah, that's you know what, what I mean. I'm saying. The, the, the weather it's and the, about culture, the weather rather than the language bro. itself. Imagine he's waking up to sunshine nearly every day, and he's coming in and it's pissing it down with rain every day, bro. He's like, "What the hell am I doing here, man?" <laughs> you know what I mean? What it's am mad. I doing here? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what am I doing here? But it is weird. It, it is weird. Players. It, it is mm, weird yeah. because, like, uh, I feel like the Spanish and like Portuguese players like love playing in England for some reason. Yeah, exactly. And again, their wags again have a big influence on these players. Don't forget that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like their wags, well. they have a lot, mostly the players of this generation. The, the wax tell them where they want to stay, how they want to stay, what weather, what jet comes to pick them, you know. So, yeah, because if they don't like what, the country what either, you have to do that. Well, I'm asking if you don't like the place, yeah. hey, uh, you know, I just want to play here two years and we're off, you know. Mm. Constantly, the wag of um Kivio is telling him, I want to go back down to Italy, <laughs> I want to go back to Milan. <laughs> I mean, that's, exactly. what happened with that's why after five right. months he wanted out. He wanted to go back <laughs> to Italy. <laughs> There's a reason why these Italian players, after they come here three, four months, they want out. <laughs> they want out, all of them. They all want out. I mean, yeah, Tenali, right. I mean look at mm -hmm. Tenali. Look, look at what happened to Tenali. I mean, he probably he's like, I can sport yeah, that. Exactly. <laughs> like, I just want to sport exactly. that. Exactly, man. And yeah, mind you, if that, if that guy if that guy stayed back in Italy, no one would find out anything. Do you believe that? Oh, okay. That yeah, if he absolutely. stayed back in Italy, no one would find out yeah. anything. Because that guy's been gambling since in Italy. And no one said a word. This guy's even sold him out. Yeah, and in, Italy, in Italy, you got the mafia in that, man. You know what I mean? It's, the whole, <laughs> it's a care. whole different world out there, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. In England, dear, that... Mm. Boy, we ain't getting away with that. Mm. Not at all, man. Bag of three points in the bag. Yep. Easy game. See, the, in this game, yeah, there was no at no point, yeah. Did we ever shake? Did we ever waver? And we do know that Luton is that kind of team that they always want to, you know, stick one boot here, stick one boot there you know, come close to your face and, and, and try to 
uh, muscle you and try to, you know, bamboozle the ball away from you and try to create spaces within themselves and intricately. But yeah, in this game, nothing. We didn't see anything. No output, no dangerous moment, nothing. Absolutely nothing. No creativity. I can literally count how many times. See, I don't think they had even two shots on goal in this whole game. What do you think? Even here today says, he says, he says, professional performance from the lads today. Eight more to go. Bag of talk to yeah. us. Arsenal yeah, it's a professional. Limited. It's a professional. It's a professional performance, but an unsatisfactory performance. I wanted three goals, so I didn't get my three goals. Mm, mm. I mean, yeah, see, we should yeah. be running. We should be. We should. We should be at least getting three and something like this. I mean, for the yeah. uh, sake of the. Uh, but uh, hey, wins a win. Take the three points. Uh, uh, eight, uh, eight, eight, eight plus eight plus games. Uh, eight plus cup finals left. I mean, I count the Champions League as cup finals. I don't know about you guys, but for some reason, everyone's like written it off. But... Yeah, so do I. So do I, bro. Everyone's like written it off. Like, I feel like a, I get it. I get it. Final, bro. And this all, I think this all comes back to last year because if we completed the title last year, we would have been going for the Champions League this year. Yeah, we'll just be sitting pretty trying to go for that title. But again, man. Uh, see, we'll be stretched to the limit. And again, see, that's why it's very important that we kind of like rotate players and switch things. See, um, Lantec, how important was the switching and the rotating uh, uh, for us today, man? Because we did see lots of uh, uh, players who came in here and lots of rotation going on in the team. Um, Thomas Partey coming in for Declan Rice in the middle of the park. Uh, we did see Nelson coming for Bukhara Saka. Like, like it was an all-round um, rotation, uh, apart from the defensive area. Even in our defensive area, Zichenko came in and, and, and you know, slot straight right back into that uh, uh, left-back area and, and allowing Kivio to have some sort of relief or rest, uh, you know, for some time. And again, Trossard, who didn't start in the last game, we see him starting mm. a game today. To what extent do you think that this rotation, uh, 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 you know, has helped Arsenal today? Um, to be honest, it's good um, in the sense that we was able to actually like have a game where we could do that and still win because we have got loads of games and obviously the games are like what every three days. So we're gonna need we're gonna need the squad to be honest. What what we can get out of it, if we're being honest. Like we're gonna need yeah. the Thomas parties to be fit. We're gonna need Emil Smith Rowe mm -hmm. if needed, like to come in if needed. You know what I mean and stuff like that. So, yeah, man, yeah. it was kind of good to get a rotate and get a few players to get some minutes and that. But in games like Brighton and that, it's back to business, man. Brian Munich back to business <laughs> when you play the best teams, yeah, and then man. you can rotate. Like, because the thing is, you're gonna rotate anyway. Cause you're gonna take players off, and you're gonna put players on. So, like, everyone's gonna play their part, and everyone needs to play yeah. their part. And that's mm -hmm. the thing. Cause in a title race, yeah. yeah, everyone needs to play their part. Doesn't matter who mm -hmm. who it is, as long as they come in, make an impact, get us over the land, and yeah, man. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah. Sure. yeah so. Amy Baba is in the house. That's my brother, man. I mean, Amy Baba, I'm gonna call Amy Baba. I'm gonna call you after this show. I wanted to call you today, but I came back late from work, man. Uh, see ya. Yeah, so um, so Amy Baba says, "Big up, guys." And then Drew Gunner says, uh, "Amy, uh, see ya, guys." I mean, for me, this was, this was a very professional performance, man extremely professional performance these guys didn't do anything to us like mm -hmm. nothing like bro i'm used to i'm used to i'm used to games yeah that that want to put arsenal to the test but this one there was no test from this team i, I mean the fighting relegation but man must be must the relegation battle be so defined in the team yeah that 
I can mm. actually count how many times this guy's even had a counter attack over us. Even a shot on goal. I, I don't think they had a shot on goal. Maybe only one. A poor, this is shocking performance from, from Luton. But again, is this poor Luton or is this vintage Arsenal? Is this is this is it that Arsenal is just better than this team? Or because I've never no, but... seen Luton just give up in this way, bro. I, bro, we saw, see. Let's not act as if we didn't see Luton play against Tottenham Sports. I saw what they did against Tottenham Sports. They tried. They were jostling. They were fighting. But right now, everything just fizzled out. Like it's like they expended all their energy trying to fight out uh, uh, Tottenham Sports, and 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 they're left with nothing against us. Yeah, they just came up against a harder defence that they thought, whoa, this is going to be difficult to penetrate. You know what I mean? Where the game against Tottenham, they probably fancied themselves a bit more because Tottenham do play that high line exactly. with, with their system as well. The so high line. Like, teams are going to fancy themselves against Tottenham. As much mm -hmm. as they have a lot of possession, they're going to they're gonna leave a lot of space at the back because they play that high line. So... That's what um, West yeah. Ham were sort of exploiting last night as well, to the extent whenever they had mm. the ball, they were playing the ball over. And obviously, Antonio yeah. could have scored and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, man, with, with, with the looting game now, like, it's, to be honest, it was comfortable. To be honest, it was comfortable. Mm. It was, Don't it get me wrong. You know, when... when when something is too comfortable, sometimes you need to, you know, you need to count the chickens that were, you know, that were hatched at the time. So, after, bro, I don't know, man. It's just too easy, man. Mm. It's just too easy. And again, that's why I always called for something, the fear factor. I always wanted to see Arsenal get that fear factor back. And, and we might just be seeing that fear factor working. Like, even before we stepped into this pitch, that Luton already knew what they were up against. They knew that they were not going to penetrate into that defence. They knew that they were just going to try. And they tried and they couldn't actually get any pathway into our defence. Even the few times they, they looked the ball in, William Saliba and Gabriel Magalhaes were all a lot. So, man, yeah. it's, uh, bro, it's looking good. It's looking good. Uh, see, uh, bag of Thomas Partey, man, his performance today, man. Yeah, it's it, it was really good. Um, who's the man of the match, according to uh uh, uh according? How do you even? How do you even? Yeah, no. So, 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 someone said it here. No, someone that that was for them. That was here. for them. Who's the official man of the match? Okay, that was for them. Okay, I don't know, man. I think it's Trossard. I don't know, but I don't know, man. I think it's ESR. For me, it's ESR. It I don't know who the official. Man of the matches, but it should be ESR. It should be ESR. Yeah, yeah. But again, uh, uh, Bagger, man, uh, Thomas Partey. Yeah, so no, Thomas Partey was just... oh, incredible, man. I loved, uh, I loved watching him play, like uh, passes, uh, yeah. him passing, controlling everything, um, drifting into spaces when uh, making runs uh, when when necessary. Like he was good, and I think. Uh, uh, come, uh, come, Bayern Munich. I'm him and uh, him and him and Rice, him Rice and Odegaard need to start uh, that match. Um, Thomas Partey is the only one that it, that it, the reason we bought Thomas Partey is uh, he shut down Liverpool uh, when he was at like uh, Atletico Madrid. That was his like audition. So I expect mm. him in the Champions League. Mm. Um, as far as like the rest of the team, it was fantastic to watch. Uh, I just wanted the third goal. That's why I'm sad. I'm not satisfied. Yeah, that pressure start go right. Yeah, yeah that pressure start go. But again, on, you know, right now, you know, right now, Arsenal have about uh, eight goals now, and so we're now we're now leading Liverpool with about eight goals. So it depends if Liverpool eight beats um, Sheffield United uh, by four by four goals. We still have four more goals. So <laughs> let's see. <laughs> See man, but Remember, let's man. let's just hope that Sheffield United just park the bus, park the River Thames, park every everything. Just sit. I don't even care. Just those sit are, back. You get you get relegated anyway. Just sit back. Like. 
But but those are the kind no. of teams that Liverpool like. Liverpool like those teams that sit back because they can literally break down a low block. Like they can. Bro, all, all they need to do, yeah, is not move from their position. Do not move from your position. Just don't move. Just stay there. If you have to stay on the goal line, stay on the goal line. I don't care. Don't let. The, mm. You know what I mean? Please. <laughs> I'm, 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 this is like wistful thinking. Trust me, man. Mm. I, I've got to manifest something, man. Because right about now, I just don't see any way that Liverpool don't win tomorrow. Personally, but yeah, oh, please. See, if it was if any other anybody... team, then maybe. But fuck me, it's long. <laughs> it's long, <laughs> guys. It's long. If there's anyone who would look at this result, yeah, and say Arsenal, thank you. It's this is my brother, yeah. See, yeah, long head yeti. This is my brother, yeah. Long head yeti. Long head yeti. You will be thanking us so damn much about what happened today, yeah. Because you somehow, you know, oh, we've done, yeah, we've done yet your favor in it. Pick up yeti. Long -head yeti. <laughs> exactly, man. This is what see, long head yeti. When I call you my brother, come on, man. It, there's a reason Pick why I call yeti. you that because as brothers, you know, we have to help each other, you know. And I know you need a favor right now. <laughs> well, you we need, need a favor, favor from you, yeti, you as well, man. From your team as well. And, and wait, did, you, did they wait, face wait. City? Did they face City at some point? I think they face City. Yeah, I think they face City. Yeah, we need a I favor, think... Yeti. We need a favor. Badly. Yeah, I think they face City. They face City, man. So, mm. bro, we need, we need, <laughs> we need something. We need that, that favor. <laughs> we need that. <laughs> so, see ya, see ya, Long Head Yeti. Go and help us, man. Help us out. <laughs> Look at what we did to Luton. Simple, easy, professional <laughs> job. That's what brothers do. And we did a brotherly job for you guys here. Yeti, go and do that brotherly job for us against Manchester City. Arsenal needs everything we can get right now, man. And yeah. not get Yeti. Go subscribe to his channel, yeah. This is a real one, man. Real one. Real one. Uh, long get Yeti. It says, big up, guys. It says, Rather hang in there than the special boss. <laughs> exactly, man. Big up Yeti, man. I like that guy to the to death. Uh yeah, up, says, yeah, I'd love I'd love a one to zero to Sheffield tomorrow. <laughs> Smash and grab. Oh my days. Drew uh, Gunners. I'm, I'm with you, Drew. I'm with are you. Are you Drew Drew Gunners? Are you serious? I'm you I'm hearing it, man. I hear it. Against a I team. hear it. Drugonis, but it's not going to happen, but I hear it. Drugonis, I'm not <laughs> joking, man. But Drugonis, this is against a team that's like about, that has considered about 77 goals this season. Almost 80 goals in 29 games this season. Shocking <laughs> defending, man. I don't think Liverpool... That, no, sometimes you have to tell yourself the truth. I, that, I don't think Liverpool would... would would drop points in that game. And most of all, it's Anfield. Come on, man. We saw what Br uh, Brighton brought to the table. Everything those men then, yeah, they tried, but nothing. Liverpool always seems to maybe, win the maybe, maybe they could scrape a draw. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. But that's, that's, that's hopefully, you know what I mean? I don't see it, but I, I, I need something, man. I need something. It's not them, then man. it has to be Man United. Something. It has to be Man United, then, if it's not them. It, it has, has to, to be Man United. Bag of where would, where would Liverpool drop this point? Because it, it, if we were to win this league yet, yeah, someone has to drop points. Or someone has to help us. No, Liverpool has to drop points. So bag of where do we get the points from? You're mute. You're mute. Mm -hmm. Mute. Yeah, it's gonna come from someplace. Uh, it's gonna come. It's it's gonna come from like someplace random. I don't think it's gonna be like the matches we expect, like Aston Villa or like uh um, or uh uh what's the other? One? What's the big one? Oh, Manchester United. Um, it's gonna come mm. from someplace random. They're gonna. Uh, uh, it's gonna be one of the other teams. I think like uh. Yeah, like maybe Fulham, like Liverpool, when they play Fulham or something, it's 
Uh, mm. They'll they'll just have an off day. It may be it may come like the week of like the Europa League, um, when they play Atlanta. Like uh, that's what mm. that's probably when it's gonna happen. So it's hard to predict for now. I'm just gonna let it flow, especially just let it flow. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. See, so, yeah, um, Long Tech. Is there any other thing you wanna add to what you've just seen today? Well, we got the win. Roll on to Brighton. That's the next cup final. Like you see, you see me. I'm just ticking <laughs> off these games one by one. Is this, you get me. This, this is like, finals, like eight games, eight cup finals. So that's Luton, Tick, Brighton, Pending. That that's that's it, <laughs> literally. Yeah, yeah. And then if we beat Brighton, yes. that'll be another tick. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Brighton, yeah. Uh, Brighton. That'll be a big one. But again, Brighton away from home. That's a weary one. It looks like they've just given Emmy Smith Rowe the man of the match, man, and it deserves okay. it. Uh, uh, we'll I'll talk about that a little bit before we go. Uh, Longhead yet he says yeah, he says we needed it, bro. You did. Uh, uh, we are equal. Now we gave. Uh, now we we did you a favor last season against City. And you blobbed it. That is true. Yeah. That is true. That yeah, is true. We, they we, they we, messed, we, messed we, need a, we need another one, Yeti, this time. Another one. Another we need one. another one of them. <laughs> another. <laughs> I mean, we need another, another one. one. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Khaled, boy. Another you know one. I mean? another, another one. one. <laughs> DJ Khaled in the house. Another one. Uh, Dragona says, don't remind me. Yeah. Uh, big up Lion. He says, big up Lion and big up Barkers. Yeah. Back of my see ya guys. You guys know Big what this guy is, man. See ya guys, in case you don't know, Bag of what was first first one to five people to actually uh, uh come to my channel, man. Like in my live in my live show. Bag of big ups to you, man. Like you know, you've you've been there for a brother, man. God bless you, man. I, sometimes I, I just know, get out of words to just you know Thanks, how Tony, to but, uh, thank it, it, you, man. What you've done for this channel is incredible, though. You're actually educating the world, so I mean, uh, so Thanks, you do man. your thing, uh, you're doing your thing, it's fantastic to see more channels. Thanks, like I, really, I really appreciate it, man. And hopefully, I'll be uh, that. See, man, do you think we can get you for the Brighton match or the Champions League? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one, man? yeah I'll, I'll actually be, I'll, I'll lots be. of matches, man. So it's a good I'll probably be, exactly be there for the Bayern Munich game. I don't think I'll be there for the um Brighton game, though. Yeah, but so Bayern Munich, all... I have to be there, man. I have to be there for the Bayern Munich. Wait, game. Wait, wait, when, wait, when do we have that Brighton game on Saturday? It's on Saturday, yeah. Uh, do you have yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Tuesdays, Tuesdays, the Champions League game next Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But Long Tuesday, day, you, have work, you have work that day on Saturday. I do on Saturday, but I'm I'm not sure what what time's the kickoff for Brighton. Uh, let's check, man, because it would be nice because it would be nice because uh, Bant is having a little bit of um, uh, kind of like a break here because, of course, um, you know he's doing watch alongs on his channel now, you know. Is mm. Bant is doing Bant is usually should be the guy with me on watch alongs, but he's having some bonanza stream yard is giving him yeah. for one month, <laughs> so he has to use it up and you know, push his channel. So, yeah, so for mm. one month, he's gonna be out totally. So, you know, to be yeah, nice, uh, I can get you guys to help me out if you can. I, I think it is a 4 30 so game, wanna... is it? It's like 4 30, I think. On, is it? Uh... Yeah, 4 30. So it's twelve thirty here, which I think it's like it should be. What's oh, let me, let me you know this check. Is American time, yeah. The American time it it puzzles people. Man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's not American time. It's not what. It's five thirty. Uh, American uh, time. Five thirty. Five thirty. Yeah. It's five thirty. You're five hours ahead. Yeah, five thirty. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Probably won't be there for that game. But I'll be there for two. Um, you won't be there. Yeah. I'll no, be I'll there be, for by a minute. Tuesday. Though. I'll be there by a minute. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll be there. It might just be me and back if that might be here. Yeah, it's to be me and back if then. But no shakes, man. To be nice to have no, the Champions yeah, League we, game. Back if will be back. I know it's not going to happen. Game. I'm just praying that it's going to happen, Yeti. I'm, I'm not <laughs> believing anything about 
when I say a draw, yeah, I, I, I don't believe what I'm saying. I'm just hoping for it. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> I mean, uh, the, the thing is, like, that week with uh, Tottenham and Chelsea is killer. Like, because uh, mm. uh, we have it's a it's a Tottenham on a Tuesday and like uh, uh on the weekend we play Chelsea. That's not easy. So after that weekend, I think it's easier to predict mm. for me. So yeah. like you said, keep ticking the boxes, keep ticking the boxes, surviving. <laughs> At that point, yeah. Like, yeah. So, wait. So Liverpool is not playing on. Wait. When no, they're playing on Sunday. They're playing Sun. Yeah. Man United Sunday. No, did, they, no, no, they play Sheffield United tomorrow, and then they play uh, Liverpool on. Uh, they play Man United on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They and, play, okay. Yeah. 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 They play Man United. Okay, that's this Sunday, right? Yeah, the Man United Liverpool. Yeah, that's on Sunday. Yeah, it's on Sunday. Okay, so literally, we could we could actually see Liverpool drop points this week. So let's. <laughs> let's see. But if we beat Brighton, we'll go back top. If we beat Brighton, yeah, I feel like, and then the pressure's on Liverpool to go to Old Trafford and win. No, I feel like it, I feel like what's gonna happen is they're gonna lose to like. So that's what we need to be honest. They're gonna lose mm. that. They're gonna lose against Palace or something like that. So personally, okay, guys, see, guys, see, yeah, City is demolishing Villa four goals to one. Can you see that place? Yeah, only God knows what is in that place. It's a dangerous place to go to. So when you see Manchester City, yeah, demolishing. Aston Villa, who, 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 by the way, are going for Champions League. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like it doesn't happen. They're going it for the same happen. thing we're going for. It does happen. And then you see what's happening to them. That absolutely blitzing them out of the park. Blitzing and, them. And, 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 uh, now, come on, bro. And, you know, some people were still saying that, you know, they're like uh, uh, Unai Emery more than Mikel Arteta. Are you changing your words now? See, see that, that, this Arsenal team, yeah, they can make you <laughs> look like a bunch of donuts later on. That's why I'm very careful with the way I criticize the team right now, you know, because, bro, man, going to the ATR, getting that draw right now, and it looks like something good. It looks like something good. That's yeah, but you know. You know, Tony, you say that, but like our, our Villa fans are probably super happy with Unai Emery, though. Yeah, they would be. They would be. So, I mean, so, he, he, on, like most of the Champions League football, football flirting Champions around League Europe. Yeah, but how many times have they been around Europe most like, of the in team, the last 10 years? Mm. But most of the, team, most of the teams he's gone to have gotten better, though. We just didn't allow him. Exactly. We didn't allow him stuff. Like, so. It just, yeah. it just didn't work out. It was timing. I'll give it to him. Like, it was timing. No, I, 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 I get it. But again, like, let's go head to head with the big games this season, man. Of course, they beat us. I, I get that. But has his performance been against the top six in the league this season? But how many that, injuries that, has he had, though? The, no, come on, man. Should we? Are we doing injuries now? We had injuries too. Yeah, but uh, with the, we, we have a complete too. squad, man. We Julian have... Timber completely out of the season. Uh, 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 Thomas Partey completely out of the season. Uh, 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 Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Jesus, in and out, no rhythm at all. Which we, we, we had Love injuries, Rob, completely out. They're just coming back. So we too, we did have injuries of our own in our own team. So you know, uh, of course, yeah. I know it's not, it's not. I know it wasn't really to the to the limit, but still we still got injuries. And 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 then Aston Villa had their injuries, but it's not like five, six players. There was a time nine players were injured. And mind you, Bukai Saka is still playing injured for this team till day. Well, till now. well, I guess I guess the big thing will be can he can he make if he's gonna be here next year, I don't know. unless he's unless people are looking to unless he's looking for that Barcelona job or anything. He should be chasing the title next year, right? So I guess we'll see next year on that one. Yeah. But, but come on, man. For him to actually take that Aston Villa team to top four spaces, man. He deserves okay. accolades, man. Yeah. He deserves accolades. Yeah, he deserves it. But again, I don't think he's 
I don't know. I just think that Tottenham might be too much for Aston Villa. You know what? And also head to head, like Mikel does not do well against him. It, but it's the same way in reverse. It, but but Mikel does well against like a play, someone like Tuchel. So we're gonna find out about the we're gonna find out next week. So. But again, but again, Arsenal haven't lost a game to the traditional top six this season. I don't, yeah, yeah. I, I don't. Yeah. Think, okay, yeah. he, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, Emery he, he beat us. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Yeah, yeah. But again, tough we game. haven't lost to the traditional top. It was six. a tough game. Too. I think. Uh, I went to the Arsenal. To carry that into that I never, I'm never going to forget that game. I'm never going to forget that game because I went to the Arsenal convention and uh, it was it was supposed to be a big party and then uh, <laughs> it was it was an absolute loss. <laughs> <laughs> but but again, but Martin. again, I see. Do think that this our defense? This our defense, man. I, I don't see Aston Villa breaking our defense, uh, bro. This defense is strong, home, man. man. It's at been home, long man. I've seen this kind of defending. We normally beat Villa at home. Anyway. Thank you. It's normally a home, that's a home game. We normally beat them at home. <laughs> it's a home game. I expect us to win all of our home games. Yeah, we have to win all of them. We 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 struggled away from home for a while. We struggled we struggled versus Villa for a couple of years now, away from home. But at home, yeah, we'll be like two three now. Yeah, at home we'll probably beat them. I reckon we'll beat them. So. I know, right? Yeah, but again, let's see, man. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, um, Lion Tech. This one you're saying, I know we'll beat know. them when that yeah. time reach. <laughs> then you're not saying we're gonna tick this one away, <laughs> bro. There will be no ticking. Wait, I'm of taking it game by game, bro. Them, I'm taking game by game. Yeah, Check. Game by I got game. the checklist right there. Yeah. All the teams that we're facing, that tick, tick. You know what I mean? It's yeah, that so, little checklist yeah. all the way to the title. That's Let's it. One that. game at a time, man. Hey, true. We're not like no off. one. Uh, no one's overlooking Bayern Munich. That's a measuring stick game. We're gonna find out how good we really are. No, that's like, gonna be a difficult game. That's uh, gonna be a game. Where, I expect a war. I expect a war, though. Man. I expect a war. But um, the I issue with us to. I expect a war. We Bayern definitely have to they win have the have... first leg, though. We have to win that first leg, no matter what. We have to. Yeah. So if we, if we don't win, it's going to be a mazah in Bayern, bro. I'm telling mm-hmm. you. I'm just more afraid of their front three. You know, yeah, it's their I, I attack kinda... that I'm afraid of. Their defense is a bit shaky. The only thing that's so... their defense to be got at is their attack that worries me. I don't really that's agree the with the whole. It's the it's attack. attack that worries me, it's not the their defense. See, I don't really agree that, with the whole... That attack can score goals. Yeah. Musiala can score goals. Gnabry can score goals. Harry Kane is scoring goals for fun. Sonny can, can score goals. goals. All of them. We got to keep Harry Kane away from... We got to keep Harry Kane away from... We got to keep Harry Kane away from the headers. That's what he's... Uh, he can get those sneaky headers uh, now. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, those. The other thing is, the other thing is, I hate the, I'm sorry, that, that away fans band, I kind of hate it because it's like, it, it, it robs an atmosphere. Cause uh, that's one of the best parts about Europe is like all the, all the teams showing up in different parts, right? Don't get me wrong. Like, I would have loved it if they gave us more tickets away. I think it would have been more, it would have been yeah. so much better if we got yeah. better, if we got more tickets away, that would have been better punishment. Do you know this? It's so, it's, it's going to be like that against Bayern when we that's go to be, yeah, Bayern anyway. Be, yeah. Because all the, the away fans are literally in the gods. <laughs> so we're yeah. surrounded by all of their fans, bruv. So it's going to be I, the I, I exact same in there, kind of, more or less. I'm sure there's going to be a, a bunch of them that try to sneak in, too. So, I mean, that's going to create. Nah, 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 nah. They'll be serious. Bro, UEFA is ready for them, man. They said that there'll be serious sanction. So they wouldn't want to risk it, man. Because even it was even based on sanctions that got them this problem in the yeah. first place. So. But you know there'll be there'll, there'll, there'll be like one or two individuals that'll be stupid enough to do it. You know there'll be the, 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 the select little few. You know what I mean? <laughs> there'll always be like that select few <laughs> that will try it. <laughs> it's a huge game. Like it's like kind of weird. Like to like rob like the it's a, it's to rob people away. Like, yeah, it's it's, it's, a, it's a huge game. I, I'll be I'll be finding game. a way to go to Byron. Uh, like <laughs> if that was the case. Bro, the tickets, man. The tickets would be crazy, man. For you to leave the US, you're in Florida, you're in Miami. 
Are you in Miami yeah, or you just in Ol- Florida? Orlando. 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 Okay. No, no, it is crazy. It is crazy. I look at it. It's gonna be twelve hundred dollars. It's like twelve hundred dollars round trip. Round trip, and then the hotel would be about like four hundred, and then like the ticket would be. It would cost me about two grand to like make that trip. It's crazy, man. Two grand, yeah. You gotta have That's money cool. in your pocket. You, you have to have that you know, man. For the round unique. Exactly, man. You gotta got you gotta have money in the pocket to roll around unique. I mean the other part the, the part that Germany, sucks you more have to roll the, around the, the, the part Berlin. that sucks more is like the travel though. It's the it, that's it's a it's a log amount of travel. So you're pretty much mm-hmm. uh you're spending an entire week of vacation basically going on something like that. Sure. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Long and you might travel. be tempted to even go down to London and imagine changing your dollars to pounds. Yeah, that's the other. Uh, I don't know how Mel Finished. does it. I'll tell you. Finished. I don't know how Mel does it. <laughs> Some people do that. Yeah, you don't want to be doing that, brother. You don't want to be doing you that. Be doing that. The England is expensive. You know what I mean? Hey, the, one great part, uh, the one great part is the, my cards actually work there. It's a lot of it, it does work there, so it's kind of nice in that sense, but. See, so yeah, guys, just before we go, yeah, Big Steve came to the channel um, on Tuesday. Big Steve. Guys, if you've not watched the show that me, Big Steve, and Dio of the SNLIs did, please go check it out. It was fire in the booth on Tuesday, yeah. It was it was fire, yeah. <laughs> Big Steve just showed up. <laughs> it oh, <yeah>. was incensed. <laughs> it was... <laughs> It was like a crazy oh, demon. It was angry, <laughs> you know, and he had a clash with Dio. Man, he came and he said, um, he said that um, how would they have scored when Arsenal kept 10 men in our post? So were we were we to excuse them to go score a goal and give them, you know, free passage to go score a goal? I, I was shocked with some of his statements. Uh, uh, down there, so, yes, you know, they, they were the home team and they've got the better quality, so it was, re- it was really on them if they needed to score, it was on them more than us. Now, we're the away team, I mean, we don't even do well at um, at the Etihad anyway. So, it was one of them games where we, scared, we, had, to, yeah. we had to play like that, we had to play like that, yeah. To get a result. He said we were scared to get at them, he even rated Chelsea more than how. Uh, uh, how Chelsea played. Yeah, Chelsea caused them more problems, but they also conceded a lot of chances. (laughs) It's the risk and reward, isn't it? It's the risk and reward. Exactly. I mean, if you're going to go at them, you're going to concede a lot of chances. That's what I mean. Well, I don't know, man. So, I mean, did you see the ref complaints? They still didn't win. I thought the ref was, I thought the ref was decent, actually, but like people were, Arsenal fans were complaining about the refs. Uh, yeah, I thought the ref was all right. I think, um, yeah, After the ref, I don't think he was that bad. It was, yeah, like yeah, uh, people were complaining that, bad. Uh, people were complaining that uh, he let too They're much. They compl- I'm not, but uh, uh, I don't for me, see I what he's done wrong, personally. Yeah, that's what that's the way I looked at it. Uh, like, uh, he let the game flow, he didn't give yeah. out like, mm. I mean, uh, if he wanted if he wanted to be really harsh, he could have given like uh, Kivior and like Gabriel like a, a yellow card in like 15 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> like so. I don't know what the there was yeah. some tackles we made where he thought, "Oh, I'll, I'll let that slide a bit." Yeah, you know what I mean. So it could have been worse. Mm-hmm. Nah, it, 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 the ref was all right. The ref was all right. For me, the ref was totally okay. It would have I feel been like bad that. if we had Paul <laughs> Ernie there, man. I feel like the Arsenal fans it's are always Paul. on like ref watch, though. That's the other. That's a part of it. That <laughs> sucks. They're always on. Really? Is that we're always trying to look for the ref for? This I don't know, man. Like allow it, man. And unless it's a decision where like it's a VAR decision and they get it wrong like for a penalty, then <laughs> whatever, man. Like whatever, we just not man. need to not leave it in the ref's hands, bruv. Because like whatever. we're always looking for that, we're always looking for that Copeman. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, that yeah, Dopamine sure, fix. Nah, la- nah, nah. Well. Good good luck to uh, Big Steve, man. You know, he came down here and <laughs> he was angry. And then he went to the Big Six show and, you know, he was just trolling Arsenal fans and saying that, you know, why didn't we come to win? We came to... Uh, big up Big Steve, man. I love Big Steve. 
It's a funny year. I man. said no. No. <laughs> so to see Big Steve rattled like that, yeah. Like that's what I want to see because these guys are already used to beating up Arsenal mercilessly in that ground. Yeah. That, that, that what these guys have subjected us to in that ground, yeah. Horrible, mm. horrible things. My mouth can't tell. There was a time they, those man then, yeah, they beat us up five nil. I, I, have you guys? Do you guys remember that one? Five nil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beatings after beatings after beatings. So you know, it's only just that we came. That out was there, when you know, um, Brandon Jacker got himself sent off. I remember that game. <laughs> like after exactly. ten minutes or something, and I was like, "Nah, this game's done. <laughs> this game's it's done." done. Man. <laughs> I was like, nah, this is a joke to you. Oh my god. Lion Tech, please shout out your channel, man. So that let's go, man. Yeah, man. Lion Text TV on YouTube. So please subscribe, people. You know what I mean? Good content. Gonna do a review in a bit. You no, know, just going over the game again. So subscribe to Lion Text TV, man. Like, can we move on to Brighton on the weekend? So yeah, guys, all of you that will be watching this uh, show on replay, go uh, subscribe to Lion Tech TV. Um, Bagov doesn't have a YouTube channel, and he keeps a very private, private uh, uh, Instagram <laughs> account. So I don't know, man. He just only wants to come and enjoy football. He doesn't want you to subscribe to him or to catch him anywhere. So uh, Bagov, <laughs> what will you tell these people, man? Talk to these people. Nah, it's not like that. I mean, it's just you could, you could, you could. Uh, it, it's just like I usually, like I, I usually, I, I add people I've had conversations with. It's not so much that I'm anti-social and whatnot. It's just like it's mm. most of the people I know on there I've had some interaction with. It's not just like me just adding like a bunch of people and then like uh, yeah, seeing it where it goes. But um, I, I like to keep a uh, tighter, tighter relation, like a uh, closer relationships than like uh, a bunch, uh, just a uh, yeah. Because I, I do like interacting with random, people. Yeah. yeah. I, I like mm. interacting with the people that are that I do follow. So I mean follow, uh, yeah. Like yeah. That. Um yeah, it's a uh, it's B it, it's uh my Instagram is B Docanetti one if you guys wanna I, I should I'll put it out there in the future, but uh um, yeah. uh yeah. Mantec, I mean, are you already following him already? Are you following um, him? Hey Barkas. Yeah, Barkas, you should follow him, man. Are you on Instagram? Are you on Instagram? Yeah, yeah, I'm on Instagram. Lion Tech. Is it Lion Tech? Yeah, it's called Lion Tech. Rapper Lion Tech and a Shaolin uh, Rasta. Is that you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. I'll follow you back anyway. It's calm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, So, yeah, I mean, uh, oh, yeah, subscribe to Tony's channel. It's like the most informative one. Always keeps uh, people. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe to Tony, man. He does good work, man. Subscribe to him. Big ups, yeah, big ups, big ups. All your shows have been good, man. All your shows have been good. I always love big ups. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. And bag of man, you know, that towards this title running, it would be nice to have you and Lown Tech here, man. You know, because yeah, yeah sure. lots of games coming up. So, you know, please let's uh, try and see, you know, and see how. No, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, you know, I'm here, man. I'm, I'm, I'm we got, we got loads yeah. of content anyway, bro. So it's calm. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be here with Bagger. Yeah, I'm watching every game. Yeah, I'm watching every game. So just hit me up. Yeah, hit me up. Yeah, I'm not missing. Okay, game. thanks, man. Thanks, Bagger. Thanks for that, man. Um, AJ, AJ, man, big up to you, man. I would see you this morning as I go down to Flawless Channel or Sarkozy TV to defend. Yeah, they will be placing me on court. Uh, uh, today, yeah, they'll be caught marshalling me today on why Arsenal didn't get those three points. So, you know, uh, come check um, us out Tony, today. Say, AJ say to flawless here if the stars are lining for the weekend, <laughs> you know what I mean? The stars are I'll aligning for that, the weekend, man. brother. The stars are still aligning man. When, when they beat Liverpool, man, the so. stars will be aligning. You know what I mean? I believe so, man. <laughs> I believe so, man. The stars were aligned by then. So, you know, let's see. I'll, I'll send you a message. So AJ, I'll see you down there on, on Sarkozy TV this this morning. Um, Drew Gunners, big up to you, man. That's our graphics guy. Amy Baba, also my personal friend. Big up to you, Amy Baba. Uh, Drew Gunners too. He says, I ain't getting too excited yet. I've been disappointed for twenty years now. 
So I'm just going to hold back for now. Exactly, man. Just hold back. I'm, I'm with hold you, back. Drew. I'm 100% with you, bro. <laughs> I'm 100% with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> not, when, not when we win that trophy now on Lion Tech, you will come out and say, oh, I supported the team. Support the team now. Support no, I'm supporting now. the team now. I'm supporting the team. I've been positive. What? I've been positive. What type of child's play is this? But you just <laughs> said right now that you're holding back. Don't hold back. I am holding back. I'm team. not getting too excited. The team without brains. <laughs> do it. No, I've always said one game at a time. Check it. Check it. That's what I've been doing. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, when we win the title, you'll see my chest. Trust me, you'll see the chest. If we win the title, you'll see it. You'll see it. Everyone will see it, man. So it's all good. Exactly, man. Uh, Drew Gunner <laughs> says, bring uh, bring stream, guys. Big up to the chart. Great stream, that way I wanted to say. And then it says, have a good evening all. Yeah, brilliant stream. Yeah, definitely. Drew Gunner yeah. says, yeah. See you guys from that, me man. and the crew. Bagev and Lantech, we... Later, lads.